It's the liquor of ages, the tonic of conquerors. Find your spark, gin and tonic, making men into giants since 1857. Deep in the Pyrexian system lies the planet of Popper. Here the most dangerous minds are held captive by wizards who rule the planet with an iron fist in an attempt to silence the common people's uprising known as propaganda. But two have defied the odds, escaping the planet and spreading their dangerous knowledge throughout the galaxy. Aboard the deck of the SS metagame, they broadcast their message of hope. Hello, hello, man. I am just beside myself with the new set, with this new deck, and even with Amazon Prime, who my very favorite book of all time is Good Omens by Terry Pratchett, the late Terry Pratchett. God, I miss that guy. And Neil Gaiman. They came together. It was one of the first books I ever read and just laughed my head off. And then it got me on the whole whirlwind of reading all the Discworld series. Amazon Prime, I watched probably the first 30 minutes before the show and I almost wanted to call the show in and say I'm sorry I can't make it it's that good I I really expected it to drop the ball because the book's so good but oh my god Neil Gaiman has just adapted it perfectly for TV so far I'm like a giddy schoolgirl. <laughs> it's just so good uh, cover another point of reference my cough is still here I will eventually get something looked at but it's it's minuscule anyway Nim Chimsky Shirazaman little fight in the house we're coming back with Blue Blitz 2.0 baby this is what this is all about um, I played this about what three, four weeks ago to about a three, two. I've, I won the popper classic Tuesdays, uh, first place with it with a six, one record. And it's slightly changed since then. I'll get into the changes after we go over the list. We got a big show today. We got a uh, 17 basics, two careful studies. I found three or four threes might be optimal, but right now I'm running two. This is for, we don't want more than like three lands. So Excuse me. Anyway, uh, I found two to be the right number. I really don't like to see this early, mainly because, I mean, if you're flooded, of course you like to see it. But I don't like to see this early mostly because I end up discarding other careful studies. And so I just wanted it to, and we're running uh, Ponder and Preordain and such, so we're all good. Four Delvers, three Dispels, four Piracy Charms. This really is pretty much a giant growth in blue when you kick in the uh, mechanics of these two. Um, and then we go to four Ponder, four Preordain, four Vapor Snags and Snaps, just Tempo City. Four of these, four of these, four of these, and here's my new tech for this deck. I took out Counterspell, moved it to the sideboard because it's too reactionary. I want to be actively involved here, and I only like it against like very control-heavy decks. Um, and even then, I, I don't like to see, believe it or not, Counterspell till I'm kind of established a little bit. So fits my play style just fine. Clout's the, about the only option. Um, it clashes a tiny bit sometimes with Mutagenic or Piracy Charm if you want to really go all in. Not so much with Piracy Charm, but with Mutagenic if you've only got the one critter. But I found Boros, uh, the traditional Boros, not the Bully build, to be kind of a problem because they can gain enough life, stay alive long enough, and then just pick your stuff apart. And this really makes things pretty un untouchable at least you can sit back and block forever and let them run out of cards if they pull the monarch on you anyway our uh, sideboard one to spell four hydroblasts one more clout two counter spells all four spreading seas just kind of an mvp in this deck against tron and such and two stormbound geists so yeah this is uh whatever you hate this is uh and d paley hey what's up good to see you. i'm sorry catching up on chat a little late here so anyway, and we will be going over the new set, um, unless you've been living under a rock. Oh my god, that new set of cards is just... I, I can't even... I, I think not since Zendikar have I seen something this amazing. I mean, Answered Prayers is a great card. We've got a reprint of Battle Screech, Ferromate. <coughs> There's so many... I mean, it's like every other card is, is good in this thing. Um, 
I know uh, Nichols is excited about Martyr's Soul. I'm kind of out to lunch on it right now. If Suspend was counter uncounterable, I would like this card, but otherwise, um, yeah. Oh, I know the even the lady up top is is gorgeous, right? Just animated and stuff. Yeah, Wizards is bringing it. Their last few trailers and stuff have been have been really good too. So, um, and I mean, check this out. Recruit the worthy. Come on, instant, pretty much sends enlistment for days. I. Uh, I, I I looked at this card. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's it's like they just they asked us like what our favorite things were, and we answered. So um, even this, I mean, this flying vigilance, yeah, it's not, but that's a lot of card for one mana there. So good news is we've got a lot to talk about between rounds because we have so many cool things to look at with the list. Um, moving forward with this deck, though, I mean, the the main thing that we want to focus on are two islands and two creatures in our opening hand. That seems to be kind of the gold standard there. So, man, I really hate when that happens, when it says you're lined up and you're not. Um, all of these cards, let's see, I've, I've really only wrote down Recruit the Worthy for white. Um, there, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Blue, the um, there's some very obvious, uh, just huge... What's up? What's up? Hex and Rouge in the house. Good to see you. Um, Fairy Seer. I mean, come on. <laughs> we just canceled. We had the Blue Monday. We banned, what was it? Gush and all these cards. And they give us this. A 1-1 one, one that scries for two. Give me a break. But right next to it, this iKite isn't anything to sneeze at. So as long as you've drawn two cards, which every time it's your turn, you're going to draw once. All you have to do is preordain or ponder once and you've got a 3-2. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So let's see if this match works this time. Let's see if we got a bouncy screen today or if we're going to have a nice even keel show. A oh, little bit of both. It's kind of right in half, isn't it? Look at this. All right. Come on, you jerk. Why is this doing this? Interesting. I've never seen the uh, screen refuse to go. Okay, well, I guess we'll go like this and uh, pull this down here. Good grief. Anything else go down here? All right. Yeah, we want to play first. We got two lands. We got one creature. Uh, I'll keep it. It's it can be rough depending on what our matchup is here. So yes, and Little Fight's happy because he's got his ninjas. How many years have we heard him complaining about there needs to be more ninjas in a set? Well, they heard us. And they put some ninjas in. I don't know how playable they are. They got that gigantic one. Probably fall through a roof if he was trying to sneak around. Okay, looks like some sort of maybe a Boros plan. But even this, if we get the Clout the Domingus or whatever it's called on this, it's going to be a Dominus. It's going to be pretty hard to deal with we will say yeah we want to show that open this up boink we will attack here i'm going to just put them on a quick clock and give this uh minus two right now just so it hits for five put them on a lot faster clock obviously it would suck to see a journey right here this is why another reason we like to see the uh, clout but we'll see thank you for that nimchimsky appreciate it Right on paw. Is Shiraz in the house? I was hoping he was uh, in. All right. So it looks like aforementioned list. Now, this is tough. Uh, elves, anything that goes wide is tough for uh, Blue Blitz to beat if we don't have a good draw. If we had a good draw, this deck kind of plays like burn where it's just like, what are you going to do? Unless you bring in like main board hate. We're all right. Oh, there he is. Good to see you, my friend. All right. Well, <coughs> I kind of want to... um. I'll just bring this guy out. I'll save snaps for uh, whatchamacallits, uh, sky fishers and such. Yeah, it's weird. My cough will go away for like three or four days, and then it'll come back for like two, and then it'll go away. And it's always, I, I know I've been saying this for weeks now, and I've, I definitely have to buckle down and just go to the damn clinic and have him take an x-ray, as I think Ken Waku suggested uh, just the other night in chat. So thank you for being worried about me, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about that, my friend. And Litify is going to be doing his uh, show. He got a new graphics card, so he'll be doing a Popper Arena, I believe, tomorrow at the same time. So in exactly 24 hours, correct me if I'm wrong, my friend, uh, make sure to check out Little Fight on Twitch, and uh, we'll be hosting that, obviously, so you get a double feed. If you don't want to remember that, then just remember to come there, and we'll be hosting, and I'll be chatting and laughing in the sideboard. It'll be all good in the sideboard. What am I talking about? Ooh, all right. Yeah, I just can't wait to see more good omens. Oh, my goodness. If you don't have a Amazon Prime account, it's worth getting just for that. Now, I'm going to bring this out. I'm just going to bounce this here. I like to hold it about three lands with this deck. I'm going to yield this here. This is a very good streaming deck just because I can talk and it, it wins fast when it does win. 
All right, here we go, here we go. We got that. I could do that for even more damage, but I don't know. I'm going to save it for a flyer. I want my uh, insect to keep coming in. Good times. There it is, my friend. Yeah, yeah. All right. And another big thank you so much to our uh, Buy Me A Coffee supporters. I've got... Um, Fuji Purple and Stephen Wake are doing the whole monthly thing. I just can't thank you guys enough. Every month, it's just a nice little pat on the shoulder reminder. It's very generous. Just got me thinking. Because buy me a coffee is like $3 a month. If everybody did that, not even everybody, but if everybody tried to do it and only like half of you did it, it would make such a huge difference. So if you find it in your heart, if you feel this show is worth three dollars a month for about three or four or actually about five or six videos if you include the uploads and the custom commercials and stuff like that then we'd love it if not no biggie i understand i follow you too i know hex and ruse this is good times i just give a, a, a pr super appreciative shout outs to the uh the monthly uh support where it just they just kind of roll it over every month i'm just like holy crap but yes i know uh fun fun funny teen hex and rouge We've got a few promo ads always touting off you guys and saying thank you in a variety of ways. All right. What do we got here? Ah, well, I thought, I'm not quite sure what to do here. We could snap the spell. We could strix it. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to smash in. I'm going to do this. Hopefully we get the clout coming on board here pretty quick. We'll rock this. Strix and wait. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's go. Um, we'll drop Strix. I'm, th I'm really, really, really thinking to uh, attack with both here. It's only two damage, though. All right, I'm going to have to hold back. I probably shouldn't have snapped there, but we'll punch in with the spell fist. Yeah, yeah. good times. All righty, all righty, here we go. Yeah, that eye kite's not, not too bad for blue, especially in this kind of a build, right? I mean, we're drawing a lot of cards. And I've thought about playing disrupt over dispel. It's just, the deck's not that quick. does win on turn three and four sometimes with optimal scenarios. It can get pretty crazy so it can be in certain matchups yeah definitely against boros it is better we're waiting to uh, try to sit back on a counter with galvanic blast hopefully this buys us a little bit of time make no mistake i haven't tested it since this build but uh that's why i put in clout because i was just losing a few too many games like this so We'll drop that. I wish these counters stuck around. That'd be so cool. And, you know, I thought about going with, um, what's the protection from black 2-1 fairy? I mean, protection from red, excuse me. I thought about that. It seems very relevant, but in the end, you know, it's like, well, why not just turn whatever you have on the board into protection from everything? So, first time I came to a magic stream, I was so confused I could not keep watching it, says whatever you hate. <laughs> was it this stream? I hope not. I hope we didn't confuse you. I could see how that could happen with a variety of shows and such. All right. Well, uh, we're not really worried about mass removal here. So I think I'm going to uh, rock with the Strix. Boy, that's going to be a lot of damage. And if I can get rid of that, uh, I think I'll just hold off. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Yeah, really want to draw that clout. Some more draw spells here. Our opponent's got, what, five lands out? We got three. We're fine with three. Two's even fine. It's nice to have the spell back up and be able to cast your two drops. So, I mean, the curve stops at two. So, two, four, five. All right, all right. Ooh, Faithless Luton showing up. Thank goodness there's no uh, Seeker of the Way out. What do we got here? All right, not the deck I wanted to bump into, but it's going to happen. That's why I had to make adjustments. Counterspell is a nice one of. Clout seems to just keep what you got and keep it around. And the uh, Spell Fist is definitely our MVP here. So I'm okay trading with the Insect for a Sky Fisher or such. But all right, let's do this again. Point. Nope. 
Wish it could be on our turn. We could actually do some mean stuff, but no. All right. Hey, at least we're playing pretty even. 19 to 6 feels good. Woo. Wow. What we really need are more flyers. This is ridiculous. I'd like one spell so I could just start sneaking in some damage here. The good news is we, he might not want to drop Monarch with this many flyers and evasion creatures and or... Uh, I don't know. What do you hit here? He's just going to go draw some more cards here. We're probably going to get Journeyed or Galvanic Blasted here. If they're smart, they'll nail the Spell Fist. If not, probably an Insect second place after that. We shall see. But yeah, I lost this morning. Right when I woke up, played a game, lost a uh, similar matchup. And I was like, you know what? I need something against this. And that's where I thought about Clout. And obviously against Elves and stuff. The only other deck, or the only deck I lost to on Tuesday for, with the 6-1 run was uh, Red Deck Wins. Just went a little too wide, a little in you know similar speed, and didn't draw that great. I did win one of the games. Stepping away to check pizza. That's a good excuse. Yeah, we even got new storm cards and everything. I just can't get over how good everything is. All right. Well, geez, we're just sitting back. Very uh, sketchy if he attacks with the birds, just because the standard block would be, you know, triple sky theaters. But these decks usually run about one electric remain, and because they've already flashed back one looting, I'm assuming they might have it. So I might just take it. All right. Got my old school Odyssey lands. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Man, boy, that spell fist has just got to come through. Whatever. So right now, I mean, see how we just don't want any more mana. So that's why I run careful study. Right now, maybe we need three of them. Who knows? All right. I never worry too much about card advantage with Boros. It's just 90% of their advantage is just cards that say draw a card. You guys have heard me rant about that for a while. So, hey, we got more protection. Yay. Oh, what a bummer. Gosh, i got to get in with that spell fist. All right. Well, our last spell showed up outside of a journey to nowhere. That should be our win condition. I would really like to get, like, a uh, careful study into maybe, like, a mutagenic growth. Oh, boy, I hope he doesn't nab the uh, spell fist. He does it. All right. Yeah, I think so, Nimchimsky. It's one of the worst. Um, I mean, that's why I made two main deck uh, constellations for it. And, you know, it helps with other matchups, too. I mean, most decks are trying to mess with your stuff. And because we only have really 12 threats, we've got a ton of draw, so it doesn't feel like we're that naked. But, you know, things happen. So, yeah, I would think... And, you know, you would think Elves is, and I'm sure in the hands of a really good pilot like C is for Cookie, I'd probably be about 40%. But... I've been able to beat it just because we have eight bounce spells, and so anything that gets big or threatening, we can usually react to, and we're hitting in the sky, and we've, we've got enough interaction that we're able to, or I've been able to pull it off, so. <coughs> oh, I know. Yeah, it would be a very clean feeling, right? Whatever you hate. All right. Come on. All right. Well, there's something here. Not much. Yeah, I just got to hang out. Man, oh, man. Ah, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, we got to let in the turn Galvanic. Nope, guess not. Yeah, and I messed around with Hex, Hex and Rouge. I did mess around with uh, Fade Away, except uh, with good pilots of Elves, it just wasn't enough. They usually have enough ways to pay for it. Um, it fits perfectly in this deck. It really does, because we don't even... I mean, this is a bad example. We have four creatures that we usually only have one or two. And, uh, yeah, it was just... Uh-oh. We don't get an answer here soon. We're going to die to just sheer volume here. Yeah, I have one Echoing Truth. I used to run two, but I moved Counterspell over, so I got rid of one, trying to play a little bit more disciplined with as much draw as I have access to. I have you know, just figured I should be able to be all right. Yeah, this is getting to be a pretty cluttered board. Drop both Sentinels in the yard, so that suggests they might not. They might sight them out. I could see doing that with the uh, Spell Fist there. Oh, yeah, yeah. How bad do we want a uh, careful study now, right? We just don't want more than three lands out. Sometimes you can mess around with the logic, but boy, if these were all pointed at our head, we'd be all right. Just a little reactionary play there. 
What do we got? What do we got? Insects just good at keeping the sky fisher at bay. Yeah, this is a pretty messy sky, boy. We need like a hurricane to come through here. And now green's got a new storm card. Just one. It's like, yeah, we're going to have storm in Modern Horizons. Just one card. Gain life. It's going to really compete with Pulsa Marasa, that's for sure. Good lord. Ay, yeah, yeah. It's going to take our goods. Not even sure if this is worth it. Could snap. Not going to. We'll let this through. Yeah, he's got so much defense. We don't really have a way through this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, snap here. And I'm just going to trade off to just try to try to buy time. This is my logic, guys. Um, we can't get through this without Elusive Spell Fist. I don't really have ways around it. I mean, we've got Piracy Charm, but I'd need eight of them, and we only got four. So uh, I'm going to trade to just try to buy some time with life here. Kind of a lost game here. We'll just go on through. Don't have much play after this. Boink. Let me see what else he's got. This is a this is a lost game one. Yeah, it is. But they can block it for ever and a day, and they probably have a prismatic in their hand now that they've seen it all. So maybe one more journey. It's a pretty much a lost game. I mean, they've got, what? What is that? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, they've got lethal next turn. I don't know why I'm drawing. This is frustrating. You put 17 lands in a deck and you do that, but whatever. All right, off to game two. <coughs> Boros, lose. All right, let's see what we can do. This will come in. Uh, da, da, da. Echoing Truth will come in. And we'll get rid of all my piracy charms. And I'll bring in two counter spells. Spreading Seas is interesting. You just don't want to go crazy with this card. Uh, against this deck, they want to, they get enough life and they can stultify the uh, battlefield enough that this really loses value as the game goes on. Yeah, it replaces itself, but ain't much much more to it than that. We've got this spell. About the only thing that's going to be happening, you know, maybe put in one blast there. Um. Actually, I'm not. There's just no reason to not have to spell over a Hydro Blast there. Uh, Vapor Snag and Snap are definitely going to stay in. We've got three Clout the uh, Dominus. Just, you know, I think that's the frame I'm sitting in right now. Um, it gets a bonus and gets Shroud. So Mutagenic's not going to shine here, but it's still good enough to throw on other things, and we can still trigger stuff off their creatures. So I think this is good here. Maybe the Geist. So we brought in one uh, Echoing Truth. That'll be good for, you know what, I, I really want to get Geists in here too. I'm not quite sure that counter spells needed in this matchup. I think I'm just going to rock like this. All right, let's go. Whatever you hate, uh, I mean, you could just head over to go MTG Goldfish. I still, I, my oldest is graduating, my youngest is graduating, and so as a result, I haven't played in a challenge in just, months i think it's been i mean i was almost hitting every other one for a good while there not anymore that's for sure i like this two lands i got answers and i got dig i'll keep it it's not the most but we've got mutagenic so the most likely uh play we can usually stay out of harm's range with what we've got so i'm gonna dig deep first see what we can see all right bump 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 uh nope and then we'll definitely want to uh, get out of island town here pretty quick Oh, it does? Interesting. Oh, we don't really have much uh, removal other than bounce, so I've got to go in waves with that um, Hex and Rouge, but point taken. Believe me, it saves many a games for me. This thing can really... It, you don't, wouldn't think blue can hit too hard, but I've had some turn four wins where it just comes out of nowhere. I just had one this morning where they're just like, holy crap. And yeah, definitely a deck you don't want to take your... Uh, you don't want to have F6... <laughs> are stuck in this thing so all right so down one galvanic blast that always feels good i got no delusions this is a very tough matchup for us as i said at the top of the show and of course 
typical of our Twitch outings. It's the very first thing we run into. I am going to do this immediately because I know there's more islands coming my way and four is plenty. All right. I uh, like that. I'll say uh, top, top. Yeah, yeah. We'll drop this. We'll drop this. Maybe we'll go find some more uh, goods as far as like a uh, echoing. Got to be really patient on the echo. Yeah, took a recent deck list. The med game. All right. Um, oh, man. Can't really... F trigger that can I hmm well we'll go like this it's not gonna no it's not gonna trigger but it might draw a counter or two I mean at this point this is just a good uh, blue standard bearer right he's like I gotta get rid of that Dover so he probably thinks I set it up little does he know it's dead for at least two turns so I'd be very happy if it gets journeyed not very happy I mean I'd rather they just bring out an prison prism or something like that but I'm not too hey the plan worked all right the real threat lives folks woo Ric Flair style baby gon get here we go stormbound geist man you can just hear the sound effects of this like just like something right out of the Harry Potter you gotta remind me to do that I gotta take the uh, footage from the Harry Potter movies those little things that float in the air. I forget what they're called. Just put it in the Stormbound Guys card. I'm not sure where it would go from there. Oh, and we got a new promo. If you haven't been on YouTube, then just wait around a few minutes. We're going to roll to it one of these commercial breaks for a Pure Popper tournament, courtesy of Pure MTGO and our friends over there, Joshua Clayton, Clayton, Clayton I can't quite remember. Does an awesome job supporting Gatherling constantly for years and years and years now. And, uh, Arctic Ghost, the hostess with the mostess, is putting together a no-ban popper tournament in August. What does that mean? Well, pretty much make a free-form deck with commons and you're good to go. You can play Invigorate. You can play Cloud Post. You can play Treasure Cruise, Taxi and Probe, Cloud of Fairies. Awesome. Yes, Nimchinsky, Div Mentor. Sorry, I'm really slow to read the chat today. It's not that the feed's slow. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, man. Too much of that. All right, let's attack here. I'm not feeling good here. There's prismatic in the yard. We really need to see a uh, careful study. Note to self. Feels like I need three, not two. Yeah, well, with the new cards out, I mean, there's going to be this Modern Horizons fest. is going to have a its whole... Everything's just so upturned. There's just so many cards to, to go over. I'm, I'm uh, just going to be a chatterbox today, and it? So apologies. All right. So we've got a nice... Uh, we could do EOT, but this, this deck kind of is an aggro-minded blue deck. You want to do stuff on your turn, even though it says instant. So, All right. Here we go. Let's... Uh, boing! We'll do that. I think I'm going to save the mutagenic just to save face here. He didn't flash back that, so we'll rock like this. And we're at six. Well, that would be uh, four, five, seven we could do. Hmm. I'm going to save it. There's just so much firepower between Lightning Bolt and Galvanic Blast. Plus, I don't want him to feel a little... I want him to feel safe when I win from nowhere and maybe keep that Prismatic Strands from becoming a thing. So, thank you for that, Hex and Rouge. My good buddy for many moons. All right. Everybody thinks Infect's going to make the big show, but man, cranial plating, people. I could see a uh, artifact build being pretty nasty. I know um, I've got my notes here. Uh, there's like that Ward Eye Witch in the new set, that member Aeokus' build that runs on um, uh, Sacrifice and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Drake's and Cloud Post. I don't think Cloud Post is going to be fast enough, but... I put it there visually just for the balance of the set there, so we'll rock like that. All right. Well, I'm going to snap here. We could respond with our Vapor Snag, but he's got uh, Prismatic in the yard, so I don't want to go over overboard. I love just... This is just like throwing mud in the gears. All right. He's countering a blue spell. We'll bounce that baby. 
Is it worth it? We'll see. Sky Theater. What a weird name. I'm not complaining. I like different stuff. STS. Sounds like some racing car or whatever. But Woo! What do we got here? What do we got here? All right. He's countering that. Countering that. Ha! <sighs> I think I'm just going to roll in with... I'm going to roll in with both. I'll use my mutagenic here. I liked Ikite. Yeah, yeah. At first glance, you go, uh. And then you're like, wait a minute. Put it on the board. You've already drawn one. Any blue can trip, and you're at getting some pretty good value there. So we'll, uh, we'll rock like this. Sounds like some high def cinema sound equipment, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sky Theater. It's like, exp oh man, and Chimsky, now you gave me an idea for a new commercial. Sky Theater sound, or Sky Theater, Sky Theaters, duh, it's right there. Just like a uh, movie chain, right? But movies are kind of so old. It's like, who goes to the movies anymore? I know I'm old, so I go. I fit the prerequisite. It's funny, man, our kids, you know, it's, I remember going to the movies, staying on the phone all the time, and just waiting to hear what's coming out next, and... It was such a process, and you call back, and it's busy. Like, there was a thing called the busy tone. And uh, that was back when papers were superior because you would look up times, and you'd save, like, 40 minutes on the phone. You remember that, little? It's good times. But now it's like, you know, tell our kids, hey, we're going to the movies this weekend. They're like, oh, really? And it's like, God, you feel like we're pulling teeth. Ah, I think this one's slipping away from us. We really need a clout showing up, and we need it on a uh, spell fist. thing called the busy tone yeah <laughs> i think you could play that for the majority of humanity right now and they'd just be like oh that's what's that noise that's irritating i just remember calling the one theater in town and just eh, 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 say Doo -doo. and then redial became a thing like what in the late 80s it was like holy crap look at this i can beat everybody but then everybody started doing it and then it was kind of over from there i'm not sure if this is worth doing it here but he is tapped out I'm just going to rock it just so we see how it works. I think that's kind of a lost game here. but So my logic being, you know, that 2-1 fairy with protection from red is nice, but Journey can show up. So this is w three times cheaper, and it affects everything on our board, and we're kind of indefinitely able to hold off their entire army. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, well, <coughs> Pink Floyd stuff was uh, definitely uh, par for the course at the time. Everybody had those phones at the all right, we're down on time, we're down on creatures, we're down on luck. Come on, now. Back in my day, you had to walk to the cinema to see it was on the billboards of Shiraz. Woo! Yeah, I remember going through going through town and seeing what was available. All right. So, yeah, we've got our own, like, un untouchable Skyfisher here. But other than a big defensive ploy, it's not much. But we've got two more in the deck, so we really want to drop the uh, Spell Fist and... See what we can see. This is feeling like last game. We're just, we're just, uh, trust me, I'll be really surprised if, if we don't go at least 3 2 today. This deck's really good. Um, but like I said, this is just a, this is a bad matchup. I don't see any reason not to play this. Ah, man, if it made it shroud and un. Now, uh, if you could bring up Nurox Stealth Suit in the uh, chat, that was a card I considered because you can bounce it back and forth. For blue, it's a very cool, um, cool card. Way back when Storm was legal, there was a uh, blue deck I was working on with. Um, God, what was that guy's name? He used to play all the time. Uh, oh, what was his name? Anyway, uh, that right before the uh, the ban on Storm, that became kind of a thing that we had brewing. So that was fun. Alrighty, well, shoot. I think we're going to start off 0-1 here, guys. I apologize. I didn't think these games would go long, and I didn't think we'd lose many. And I'm wrong on both counts this first round. I, this feels like it's getting away from us. Our elusive spell fist is being very elusive at the moment. Yeah, that's a pretty cool little suit of armor there. So You can just give stuff shroud and take it away, which can sometimes be a problem here. I mean, I'd, Sky Theater gets triggered without anything. But if it's the only creature out, you can see how... Mutagenic 
costs us two to cast it, and you'd have to put it on a creature's or another uh, opponent's creature and stuff like that. So, get a little problematic. There is no more prismatics in the yard. Come on, you, we've only got seventeen basics here. It feels like we're running twenty-four. All right. Oh, and our first commercial. I'm probably gonna roll to right after this because I already have to use the restroom. I apologize. Is uh, from Comedy Bang Bang. It's no longer on TV, but they have some really funny trailers. And I, about two years ago was the last time I ran a few of these, and I found the old clips, and they still made me laugh. So um, Scott Ackerman and all those guys. If you if you want a really good podcast to listen to, uh, Comedy Bang Bang's pretty awesome. They just do audio now, but um, you know that was back when Reggie Watts was on and stuff like that. So definitely give them a listen. They're pretty awesome commentators. All right, let's rock like. Uh, Hmm. Let's rock like this. And we'll go like this. That's the one. I don't know if we're going to live much longer. <laughs> but it's about a two minute break and we'll roll from there. I've also got the very original Pictionary, courtesy of Kid Deluxe. If you saw us on, what was that, Wednesday night, we went live on Facebook. And there was nothing wrong with my camera. It's just Facebook only accepts that vertical aspect ratio. And I'm trying to lay out the board horizontally. So if you're board curious, you can go watch the replay of just tabletop magic. I was playing Boros Bully. My son has been building this deck for, I don't know, months now. That's trying to beat Boros Bully. And it does sometimes. But overall, it seems to have his number there. So I think Galvanic Blast is going to end the day here, folks. Oh, yeah, I've heard nothing but good about that movie. Galerium's in the house. All right. Okay, so we're just uh, trash bait here in the first one. Bam, we're dead as a door nail. So I'm going to lick my wounds, go use the restroom, grab another brewski. I recommend you do the same as long as you're not driving anywhere. And we'll see you back here right after these commercial breaks. Hey, Reggie. Speaking of transitions, did you know the new summer movies are coming out? No, I did not know that. Yeah. And you know what's even better is I'm finally in one this year. Oh, wow. You know, I usually don't like those big blockbusters, but if you're in one, I'll, I'll go see it. The new trailer for it just came out today. Let's take a look. Everything was going great for Ned Eastman. The perfect wife. You're the perfect wife. The perfect job. Gosh, I have the perfect job. But he had one dark secret. I never, ever want to see another physician, ever. Your only hope is to ingest one specific fruit every 24 hours, or I can guarantee I will be seeing you. No! Coming this summer. You can't keep me away! You can't keep me away! An ample a day. Looks pretty great, right? I don't know, Scott. I mean, it seems like the writers had a title first and then worked backwards from there. I don't know what you're talking about, Reggie. I mean, it's a great title, great plot, interesting character, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree. But what we can both agree on is that this next movie I'm in is going to be pretty awesome. After not having made the basketball playoffs in over 50 years, the Wilson High School Devils fought their way to the championship game when their star player was injured. Now, Jimmy here, he gave his all in the first half. And we are going to honor his sacrifice to Jimmy! Ah! Ah! They might not have had vision. No, actually, Jimmy, you, Jimmy, you already, okay, if you need to do that one too. But they had a lot of heart. There's no I in team. I love that one even more. Oh my gosh, I bet you there's even a third one. Is there ever? Hey you, you know what that bright star is? Polaris. So you'd think that today of all days, you'd know not to lean against my wall. <laughs> I 
don't lean on an old crone's wall under the light of the northern star. <laughs> Well, we've got a hand with Ponder and Preordain. One Islands is the reason we keep these hands. We will. Otherwise, we're not reaping the rewards of blue. Woo! All right. Uh-oh. Pestilence build. <laughs> Are we going to start 0-2? This is redonkulous. All right. Ponder, here we go. Let's get something that works. Top. 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 No. Hiya. Here we go. At least we can live through a... Uh, what do you call? What am I talking about? We can live through a disfigure. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, thank you for that, my friend. Oh, please don't take our Delver. We're like so dead. <laughs> Woo. All right. I don't care, man. Good Omens is out. Playing a new rogue deck. Proved on Tuesday. This thing got first place. Went 6-1. Had a very vast field. You can go to gathering.com and actually look at... Ooh, what I ran up against. It was a pretty nice variety and you know nothing to, nothing against um, how uh, Popper used to be on Gatherling but it, the, the quality of the decks was you know, like the highest was maybe tier 1.5 in the old days. Lately it's just been a murderer's row. It's like if you, yeah you can bring Rogue to test there but it's uh, usually you run into Tron and all the varieties of filth. <laughs> Alright here we go. Meh. I know I didn't pick Delver. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. All right. At least we've got a way to deal with it here. All right, all right. Let's make him think of maybe we drew some sort of counter. The only reasoning here. What do we got? What do we got? What is this new technology? Okay. I'm all right with that. Come on, Inspector. Very good deduction there, little fight. All right, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me again. Mm. Can't fall day until I start talking a lot. So, woo! All right, we're gonna ponder. Let's go get some more filth. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna throw all of this back. I'm gonna shuffle. Yep. I'm gonna go look for stuff. We're gonna do this. Now we're good on lands. We don't need any more. Let's go find maybe a. Okay, that's all right. I'll throw this on the bottom, this on the top, and we'll go from there and attack for three. I'd really like to get a dispel here. Two creatures out. Uh, whatever you hate, it's the only one I play right now. I mean, it's typical of my contrarian nature, right? Blue gets banned, and then I come out with a blue deck the very next week when nobody's playing blue. That's uh, I think you could set your clock by that kind of stuff. I'm just that way. Don't know if it's good or bad, but whatever. Yeah, we played this about three or four weeks ago, and it was really popular. And we just snuck away with a 3-2 back when it had Gush and everything in it. But there's part of me that kind of likes the way it plays better now. It's just, I don't know. I really would love, I might even go to 61 cards, because I'm tempted to go down to 16 lands. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, i got to save this. It's pretty much our only uh, critter. We don't really have any other than a Guardian of the Guild pack. We don't have much to worry about on that end of it. So I can just triple cast some stuff here and... Find the deck list for the shows. Yeah, in the um, chat or the more info of every video, we have the deck list that have been played and like the community events. Sometimes it's five or six decks because sometimes people will send in their deck lists and stuff like that. But yeah, or you can just email us, propaganda gmail.com. We'll be happy to oblige. We'll drop this and another spell fist behind it. Feels like, unless a pestilence shows up, feels like we're going to pull this one off. Where was our spell fist last game, man? We really needed that. That was a bummer. So at this point, Delver is just kind of like, you know, the cannon fodder for the uh, Chainer's Edict. With this many tricks in our hand, feeling all right. Yeah, it's usually a different deck every week. 
actually I don't think I've ever repeated I think we did with tribe just because when it was a new thing it was like everybody was like so tickled that it was a thing might be cool to have a place where all the decks are collected yeah what if I had one going there it was called the soul hole um, I just you know there's so much uh, repetitiveness right so like if I play RG tempo it's only gonna be like four cards different given the meta game and so I just didn't want to flood it and that's kind of what Facebook's for if you want to see what the latest build is and stuff like that you can just go get the deck list copy paste keep moving it's all good times all right let's see what we get I'm chattering chattering too much yeah that's not a uh, instant or a sorcery so I'll say no on that we'll go like this gonna really like this play here all right, let us go like we'll rock like this. Drop the clout, drop the clout. All right, yield this. And now we've got the clout. We're feeling all right. Um, yeah, we'll drop this. Once that flips over, feels like we'll be all right. Hold your uh, opinions on clout for a little bit. Believe me, it can be an MVP in a lot of matchups. Right now, just a bunch of edicts and stuff, and he's already got one, so feeling okay. As you can see, Piracy Charm and Mutagenic aren't going to be able to target it, but we've got the other spell fist for it. Worst case scenario, we make them discard, and we Mutagenic their opponent's creature. I would really like there to be a similar card that gave Hexproof like clout, but hey, there's only so many hundreds of cards to choose from. <coughs> All right. So at this point, Pestilence is just going to cost him a wee bit too much. We could probably have a Curse of Chains. If you want to put that up in the chat, I'd appreciate it. Anybody that has a lot of uh, Pestilence or Guardian of the Guild pack, excuse me, a little bit too much carbonation in my life. No. We don't want that. All right. Let's go from here. <sighs> All right. Well three cards in hand I'd really like to just smash face here let's see I'm not um, I'm gonna do this and it seems a little wanton but we've got we've got so much stuff I'm just gonna try to push through as much damage as possible here Flare, Delver's not gonna flip that's cool you can pay three mana to draw one card next turn I want to get some tempo right now come on sucker Ooh. Feigning like they've got a uh, prismatic dang that will really suck if they do because we don't have you know what All right, let's attack. Maybe they'll show us their hand early Terrible play sorry free win, but oh, that's a free uh, turn for me, okay I would have probably gone all in there and one more phase turn there so you prismatic strands players out there I've got the uh, excuse of streaming and trying to host and talk and chat and run a TV show at the same time who knows maybe free wind does too pestilence with strands main board yeah I've seen it a bit you know it's a it's a really good call there's uh, not many decks it's just pestilence hasn't been figured out yet same with uh, freed from the real just hasn't been a deck that really does it. So here, this is usually a back-breaking card, but with one instant or sorcery, as long as this has flying, this just hits for two and it costs four. It's not that great of a card, but the problem is this. Prismatic in the yard. Not liking that at all. All right. And Bog does absolutely nothing to our deck, so it's kind of refreshing. It's like maybe there should be a way to utilize the graveyard. Ono's Grace comes to mind, but not really. Thank you for that, Shiraz. I appreciate it, my friend. All right. Yeah, outside of my silly nagging cough, I'm feeling fantastic. Damn it. How many islands did I put in this thing? I thought it was 17. This is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, hmm. I got a feeling they've got something good. And because we're probably going to get strands here, I'm going to make them discard it. Get Let's see what it is. Come on, be something good. Be something good. Something good. Oh, man. We got duped. 
Oh yeah. All right. Well, we at least hit five or make them use up the strands. Now they're on hellbent. Dun dun dun. dun. Feels like I should force him to go hellbent, huh? That would be a nice little pestilence trick if he thinks he can get there with four and we're able to save our dude with mutagenic. But we're going to be paying the price dearly. He's going to be at tw if he strands here. He's going to be at twenty on the upkeep because of the rift watcher death. Yep, that's fine. Good times. This is when you want to draw like careful study, and then you just draw like ponder, preordain, snap, bop, 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 and you just boing, 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 boing. What's your verdict on the Ideas Unbound? I just didn't like seeing it. And think about this. Ideas Unbound's brutal if you don't have a perfect hand for it. Whereas Careful Studies, one last card, and it comes out right away. And so I almost always wanted it to be Careful Study, even when it felt like I should, I've got three things to discard, or I can just use my whole hand up and I don't have to discard anything. Even in that case, Careful Study would have done the same thing, and it's a whole turn cheaper. So, uh, but thank you for bringing that up, Nunchimsky. I know I uh, saved <coughs> an image of that because everybody's after the next thing. Everybody's seems to be running a combination of think twice and or um, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, accumulated knowledge. I don't think either are right. Think twice. I would lean on a little bit more so. But all right, Devon in the house. I love this deck. Thrilled to see you brewing it. Post band version. Yes. Devon, if you're late to the show, it actually, I won a tournament with it, went 6-1 with it. It was pretty deluxe. Um, ooh, you know, I think I'm going to get rid of Delver here. Yeah, it won on Tuesday, and so this is a version of it. I put in Clout because it just targeted removal, and we're only running 12, so. If this doesn't flip, that's useless. Any trick, and I get through, I'm going to lose the Delver. We've got enough flyers coming through, and this these really survive Pestilence a lot more, so it might become more. Oh, interesting, Nimchimsky. Yeah, all right. Nim, wasn't it you the other day that we were just playing um, Freed from the Real against me? I think that was you. I apologize. Everybody's name runs together. All right, let's rock like this. We've got Edict Bait Insurance. We will attack. I'm just going to save my Metagenic. They've got to run to spells and stuff. We're pretty much just going to chip our Sky Theater. We're taking two. Yikes, how do we get to 11 already? Oh, okay. <coughs> Gosh darn it. I really hate having to do this now, but, well, I don't even know if it's worth it now. I don't think it's worth the two life. I'll let him take it. Come on, careful study. Can you say careful study? Let's go, careful study. Deluxe still coughs. Yes, that should be a hashtag. I knew I'd be getting shit for that today. I apologize for the uh, ears out there. I know it. I blink and another week goes by and then another one and I'm just like, God, I gotta get this damn thing checked out. Problem is I just feel great otherwise, but I'm too much of a cheap ass to get out and it's mostly a time thing. It's just like I've got nothing but time, but I don't wanna just sit there and wait for like four or five hours and you know those they're not the most efficient way to spend your day, but I guess it's a lot more efficient than dying. All right, let's rock like this. Got critters for days. We're just waiting for a careful study to show up and we will just end this party. Woo! Let's try to keep it honest. I know, whatever you hate, it's ridiculous. Uh, but it's pretty typical of our Twitch outings. I'll go on like a perfect run, show the list, everybody's liking it. And then when the second I hit upload on Twitch, it's just like, here's a bunch of lands and a deck that doesn't have any, or vice versa. Nasal drip from late set on allergies. Oh, yeah, it's probably just something that that simple, hopefully. It's funny, though. It seems like that Coke Zero that I like so much, that I'm, uh, it seems like that's really a culprit. Like, there's something in that Aspar team or something that seems to really, like, I'll be okay and I have one and I've noticed a correlation where I'm like, hmm. All right, well... The spell might be nice. Man, I don't like any of this. 
they don't they have mostly sorcery speed stuff so I'm gonna throw this all on the bottom and just hope for the best yeah I want to shuffle come on sucker let's go all right let's go uh attack 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 yeah it's probably gonna have to keep his rift watcher back come on have a forgetful memory and castigate me again and love to see that I would hey hell you text in the house Cash off the top one more <laughs> all right good to see you old friend all right that was there best of lands. I couldn't start with a more uh, lopsided outing said Boros was bad pestilence should be worse and that gains life goes wide buys time unless we come out of the gate swing and we're kind of screwed well I'm kind of forced to block here keep me alive a little bit longer looks like we're gonna drop as we roll over like a careful study would be really nice here no hey thanks a lot shuffler I really appreciate you flooding us with all of these workarounds and options to do otherwise all right we're just gonna go off to game two throw my hands up to the shuffling gods and say what the F all right here we go uh yeah let's bring this in not too big of a fan of against dispel on this one Gonna lose all of our piracy charms for some room with other stuff. All right, so we've got some edict insurance here. I want to bring in one echoing truth. I'm sure there's going to be some journeys showing up to uh, combat the known geist that's coming in there. So, yeah, no, <laughs> no joke right there, little white, right? All right, useless, not so good. Uh, spreading seas, maybe get some off off the colors. Uh, definitely, I, I want cloud again, and. Uh, spreading seas I'm not sure maybe lose two snaps three spreading seas I'm thinking so we're gonna have two dispels you know what I'm gonna favor uh, the counter spells over uh, shenanigans with snap we'll just lean on vapor snag for our saving grace and being able to uh, snap out of things and keep our MVP the uh, spell fist alive with some good stuff there so uh, yeah All right, well, what else can we do here? Just, uh, but I almost saw no instance other than uh, just, you know, journey, I mean, excuse me, journey to nowhere, uh, prismatic strands. I'm liking this. Let's rock. With that much life gain and the ability to just kind of wipe the board and only playing 12 critters, we well, got to kind of draw a little lucky here. So I'm okay if we go down 0-2 here. Hopefully we don't, obviously. <coughs> Man. All right, well, we'll keep this. And ponder. So the list I played on Tuesday to the victory was uh, quite a bit different. Hmm. I'm going to throw this all back. It, but it's up there if you wanted to load it. I think I had the counter spells main over the clout. But like I said, it didn't really help that first game. I mean, we, we, we did draw it, but it wasn't enough for the sheer volume. So work in progress. All right. Well, worst case scenario, we can come on Delver. Let's see a Delver. All right. I'll throw this on the bottom, this all on the top. And hopefully we just get lucky here because we don't know what's coming up next. Maybe we can buy a uh, disfigure maybe? Doubt it. All right, what do we got? Dead weight. Oh, Mutagenic's not going to do nothing there. It's dead. Doink. Great card. Wonderful cure for a togs across the world. Huh. I know they lean on black. Well, let's see if we can get a creature here first. All right, I'm going to throw a bottom bottom on this. Come on. All right, seize vote. Sit back on counter. I'll wait to see where they're at. 
Hmm. It's one of those, if we pick white, they might have an extra white or vice versa with black. Or sit back on counterspell. I think we sit back. Let's see where we stand a little bit. I'll try this weird concept called patience. Come on, Karoo land. I don't want to have to use a counter spell on a castigate. That would really suck. Thought about running envelop. There's a lot of sorceries out and about. I've done weirder things, that's for sure. Hey, all right. Look at this. Patience works. What do we got here? Dang it. I hate using this on this, but we kind of have to. Woo. No free knowledge, sucker. Man, be nice if we got a creature. Come on. Thought about running a looter ill core, too. White's out of the question. Hmm. Would have been nice for an island there. All right. We'll chill. At least we've got another answer if it comes up. It feels like we're delaying the inevitable there. I'm not sure if that's the best thing outside of a Tron matchup or Demir sometimes. Huzzah! I don't think so. Whatever you hate. It's a um, spell. 90% of the removal out there seems to be uh, instant. And so it's uh, actually the spell usually does go down on my turn. Somebody's trying to blast something and such. And it's just spell pierce. It's just when those games like, well, this one and the last one go long, it's they just get steadily worse as things go along. I'm going to ponder here. Oh, I'm liking this. these hands. Shoot. Well, if we draw into a land, but we won't because we know what we're going to draw here. Eh. We'll say top, top, top. Say no. Drop this. Doing. At least we'll play musical chairs here. Drawing a car. Man. Best land enchantment. At least it replaces itself. Do it again, Saka. Oh, so we've got our, our next little commercial break. Found a cool little viral video about a, putting a rooster to a hypnosis effect. Kind of a little screen grab of that. And Little Fight's got a funny story where he did an entire field of chickens when he was younger. That was a pretty interesting story. <laughs> yeah, just a tempo play at that point. All right, let's drop this. Must drop this. And we'll go from here. Be nice not running into like these control matchups. Pestilence and Boros. Surprisingly good average against Burn. That really surprised me. Another spreading seas wouldn't be too bad here. Yeah, it's a combination of life gain and going wide. Uh, no. Dang it. All right. I'll drop the fist. I'm just going to pass the turn here. Slow roll it. Hopefully that Delver will flip. We can start killing or bouncing stuff. Yeah, you'll see it on the next commercial break. It's a pretty cool little trick of hypnosis here. So... Um, I'm going to take two regardless. Oh, my instincts are telling me to block here. I don't get too much synergy here, but between Skyfisher and such, I'm going to take two anyway. And if he's got Prismatic or things like that, I just, I just kind of want to keep him uh, on his heels as far as uh, tempo goes. I don't have many advantages in this matchup, so... <laughs> Trying to make them happen. Yeah, I thought it was complete make-believe. It's right up there with uh, the fainting goats. 
This blows my mind. Which, by the way, I think gets the uh, best flavor vote is uh, Goat Nap, the new red spell in uh, Modern Masters. Wow. <laughs> it's just not so much the flavored text, but just the the card. I was like, that, that's a, that was a pretty funny outing there. Yeah, I don't know much about hypnosis. I've never uh, tried to go under or whatnot, but it's interesting. I'll have to see if uh, the verdict is on that in a few more years. Ah, God, the flood continues. No. I swear I want to switch an island with another careful study to just rub it in. This is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, well, four is okay. I'll stay at four. I've got answers. I got answers. What do you got? Ayo. Let's attack. Uh, I'll, I'll drop this here. Try to get in damage while we can. Alleviate that four life spell. Boink. Crones who stare at goblins, stare at goats. <laughs> Don't lean on an old crone's wall in the light of the northern star. <laughs> Such a long-winded movie title. That's why it was so damn funny. I just loved it. <laughs> that little guttural yell she does at the end. I sure wish they had their show still. When you work in the TV business, Comedy Bang Bang is just a bastion of hope. It, it's The skits they do kind of poke fun at the industry in a very healthy way. There's a very funny saying in our business called Fix It in Post, and we just kind of roll our eyes because... That's like the standard answer for anything that went wrong or lack of foresight. Okay. Well, I don't want to lose both of these, so we'll just make this a big old time walk turn. Doink! Sure wish we could be doing this on our turn, but whatever. All right. Booyah! Discard, baby. Come on, one more spreading seas. We might feel like we can do something here. That'd be just right for Delver to not flip, right? <laughs> Come on, Delver. No island, no island, no island. Counterspell. All right. Hey, I'll take that. Woo. Cool. I mean, I could echoing truth the seas and then play it again. That'd be pretty ridiculous. We'll just get in while we can. No whammy. Hey, we got a counter for the uh, Guardian. I don't know if that's worth countering. All of our stuff gets by it. It's only two damage a turn, so I think I'll let that through. What do we got here? What is this new technology? The blue shows up. Uh, nah, I'll counter that. Boink. Call me counter happy. I don't want no air drawbacks or ways of getting back my spreading seas tricks. I want to be able to dunk on it. Come on. Yeah. Life again. Damn it. Back even almost. This is ridiculous. All right. Come on. Got enough of these. Jeez. This guy back. It should be a three turn clock, but it's not. This much life gain. It's daunting to try to get in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Shiraz one. Yeah, I think it's pretty person dependent. You're willing and able. I think it probably is very directly correlated. Hypnotism is what I'm talking about, if you're missing my point, to the um, placebo effect. And hey, man, whether it's, in my opinion, religion or anything else, if it does you good, then go for it. You'll find any way to bend reality to your liking or make you a little bit happier. Good times. Yeah, I think that's probably the uh, quotient, isn't it, Nim Chimsky? It's either one extreme or the other. I think if you know magic, you're pretty much out of the woods on that. All right. Man, had to draw a careful study right when they could have prismatic math, but 
I gotta take my uh, chances where I can get them. Is he really gonna prismatic main here? No, that'll make me uh, slow up. Yay! That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. All right. Um, we already know he has that, and if he does it, I'm gonna go all in because I really like the uh, the mana that the oh keep a game shinobi costs four. He's gonna have to pretty much spend his whole turn doing that, and I can just bounce it again. I'm sure this is a strand. Yep. Here we go. There's a hypnotist slash, I don't know, journeyman that's on Netflix, Darren something. I mentioned him about four or five months ago. I remember he seems pretty legit. More of the betterment of humanity and such. Pretty good stuff. Well, you had a 3-2 with this deck. Like I said, a one on Tuesday. Plus or minus like two or three cards here or there. Man, well, he's going to get us either way, isn't he? All right. Island echoing. Even if we crash and burn hard, we'll still have the little set review here. So, Darren Brown, that's the one. Thank you for that, Shiraz. Of course, you knew it. It'd be an embarrassing start if we go lose, 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 lose on the first two. Could happen. My defense, I did say these were bad matchups. So. All right, let's lose something. I got Prismatic in the yard. Time is running out. We got to be careful here. Colossus, Mono Blue Tempo. Oh, no, this is a... Uh, call this Blue Blitz. Woo! Unfortunately, I could show you what it does, but they've got Prismatic right here, so I can't go too crazy here. A lot of evasion and such. Hmm. Well, let's go uh, top, top, top. No. Play this. And attack. Waza! Use it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Prismatic, baby. Yeah, Devon, I had uh, two counter spells main. They moved to the sideboard. This is pretty much the same deck minus that. Uh, it didn't help too much. My analogy was uh, I was going to run the pro red creature because if you notice in that tournament, I went 6 1, and the only one I lost to was um, uh, red deck wins. And so I brought in the 2 1 protection from red fairy, thinking, hey, it's got evasion, kind of synergistic. But only against that matchup was it good, whereas, like, against. You know, Boros, they're just going to journey to nowhere it, or it doesn't stop any Skyfisher tricks or anything like that. So what I ended up going with was Cloud of the Dominus, which kind of turns any of my guys into a protection from anything spell. But it didn't do too, too good in the uh, the first match up there. So hopefully we can pull this one off and go 1-1. One, one, but we're up against it here. This is, this is no easy matchup, that's for sure. All right. Coast is clear. We know we're drawing a instant or sorcery next. Feeling good. Woo, boy. I don't know why they didn't attack there. There's just nothing to block here. Yeah, we're going to reveal that. We're going to go like this. And I'm going to do it just for the life gain here. We'll drop this. Get our dude going through. It's one more life down. They want to spend time drawing cards. We're probably going to win that way. They, we know they've got a ninja in hand. This is six. Oh, well, this is ten right here. So yeah, we win. All right. Off to the sideboard. Discuss the sideboard here, real quick, guys. I'm gonna go to the restroom here, so we don't have to roll to another commercial.
All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that land really seemed to help there. I think I'm going to favor the fourth one over a Dispel, just because the only Dispel we saw were uh, Prismatic Strands. I mean, Dispel we saw. The only thing that Dispel would work against. Um, yeah, let's rock like that. Booyah! Yeah, see, it's hard to argue with. It just replaces itself, and it's so good against Tron, just because don't go land destruction against Tron. They just pull some Marasa, or they blink it. It's really frustrating. Boy, this is a tough hand. We've got some answers. Man, my phone is... Remember about six months ago, I get all these phone calls on Fridays, and then my phone doesn't ring the whole rest of the week. It's weird. All right. Um, we're on the draw. We don't have any draw. We've got a creature, and we've got we can protect it with mutagenic, but it's not going to do much against a dead weight. What do you guys vote here? I better uh, shoot. I'm going to mulligan. All right, I'll keep this. I can't wait around for decisions here. Bottom, because I've only got seven minutes to beat this guy. All right, thank you for that little. All right. Hey, we're feeling good on the uh, land front here. Let's get some creatures here. We'll throw this on the bottom. We'll see that much later in the game. Throw this on the top. We've got some, <coughs> excuse me, Edict Insurance. Edict Insurance. Hey, all right. Well, we've got a nice thing to do with our spreading seas now. I love, ah, I just love land destruction. I'm such a jerk of a magic player. I like land destruction. I like infect. I am so bad for the game. Boom! Booyah! I'd like to fit that main somehow. Take that, Mr. Development. Man, you talk about a stifled turn. It would be so nice if we had a flip Delver that we were going through. <laughs> my God! I've got like eight messages on my phone. I hope nothing, none of them are normal numbers though, so I know it's nothing like a, your kids are in the hospital or anything like that. So it just, uh, just cracks me up how that happens. All right, well. I've got mutagenic to save the day. If we draw into another island, I'm all right. I feel okay. Watch we eat an edict here. Pay for being a little... Yep, damn it. Ah, shoot. Wish we would have waited one more turn. Of course, that's if you had a perfect hindsight. The Stormbound Geist. Of course not. Hmm. I'm just going to do this to draw the card. Um, I'll choose this one. No, I need to draw a card. I'm the aggro here. I don't want to sit around and wait. Now, if I draw another land, it's fine because we'll have to spell for counter a Stormbound Geist and be okay. He's only got one black source and probably a lot of white stuff, so. All right, good. Good times. One, two, three. We're just going to go for it. Not much to go on. Ah! Loss it. I like your flavor. That's what I chose to. Even though our graveyard doesn't really have any way of interaction, it's always a good deal here. Spreading seas showing up. Man, I bet they've got a handful of Avon Rift Watchers and they're just, go for it. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Ugh. All right. Well, that kind of works in our favor. We'll preordain. See if we can get another creature out. I'll we'll say bottom. I say bottom on that. I really want to. All right, I've got so many of them. Well, we could stop any sort of shenanigans as far as like edict effects with counter spell. So we're good for now. We'll just keep lightning bolting them with uh, of the blue persuasion for right now. When it gets crucial, we can uh, really surprise them and hit them for seven. So we've got to think he's at like 10 right here. It's exactly kind of what I thought might happen. Let's roll like this. Board change. It doesn't change. We'll pre -order. Hey, all right. So we pull even. They must just be having a bad day there. All right. So we'll rock into the next one. And while we're waiting, this is why I love when we have showstoppers. So Fairy Seer is insane. All right. Best card of the set, probably. I have a little bit of a caveat to that. I know that's the... And I, I think it will see the most play. We've already been over this. So as we roll on down, 
Phantom Form was the la the other one. There's a lot of great cards here. I don't want anybody going, oh, what about this? Of course, this set's insane. But I'm trying to not just sit here and turn into a, uh, a reading audio book or something like that. So anyway, Phantasmal Form. <laughs> My goodness. Can we please stop giving Blue such good cards? All right, let's just ignore everything. Put your two fingers over the text and just see two and a blue, draw a card. Well, all right. So even if it says do five push-ups, it's it replaces itself. So we're already at a positive, as blue usually is. Wah, wah, wah. I'm playing blue today. Anyway, until end of turn, up to two target creatures. Each have the base power and toughness of 3-3. Three, three, gain flying. If that's not enough, they become illusions in addition to their other types. Hey, if you don't forget, a couple of months back, we played illusions to a pretty good record. And uh, this makes illusions and one card and two of them at that. I just can't get over how good some of these cards are. All right, here we go. Let's see if uh, we can go back to the review or not. Nope. And unfortunately, we've got bouncy screen. I apologize for that. All right, here we go. We're back to the list in a little bit. Got two preordains. I'd much rather one of them be a careful study with three islands in hand. But it is our turn. Very tough to say no to this hand. We'll say keep. Oh, thank you for that, whatever you hate. Yeah, I just quickly went through, and I just came up with a little cheat sheet so that I don't sound like a complete idiot. And uh, went through. I mean, there's so many good cards. I mean, it's it's <laughs> there's just so many good cards. That new Vashino, Little Fight, you're just, you, you, I think you might probably try to shove that and burn. That is insane. It cycles. It hits for 4-2. Something like Trample Haste. It's a common. It's like, it just feels like something was just, shoved together and just ugh, oodles and oodles anyway yeah mini ball lightning totally i i you know i used to hold zendikar as like the set to beat like if you think about it there's so many sky fisher vines of vast there's so many cards that that set had and i'm like nothing's ever going to beat that especially with as how slow as everybody's doing it now but boy i think this is the new set to beat they just i wouldn't be surprised if they i know the professor was touting something like that in his latest video but if they uh, <coughs> just went out to make popper players happy they're just they seem like they designed some of the cards for it. it's just ridiculous i mean white's got that that three three angel gain a life every turn turns into an angel it's this, this and i i am so curious in like two months what popper's gonna look like because with that many new cards take it from crazy Uncle Deluxe, Brewer, whatever you want to call me. There, that's a, that's a lot of equations coming into the format. We're going to drop this. We don't know what they're on yet. We're going to assume it's Faye, so I'm going to drop this and just try to set up our dude. All right, I like this, and we can uh, snap in response. So we'll say, uh, you know what? But we don't want him to know that we have snap. So we'll, we'll say top, top. And uh, that way they, they just see that and they don't see the trick. I'm starting to get the hang of this Delver shenanigans here. So definitely going to try out your build. I was also loving the version that runs Phantasmal Bear because it's a pet card of mine. I'll try both, of course, Devon. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I, I know Yeah, somebody right before the Gust thing was tearing it up with that. Um, like I said, I just don't play enough. And Blink, after Friday is done and like both sons like... Uh, graduating soon they're just very busy uh oh all right destroy target creature all right so we're up against demir not terrible just depends on what the uh package of removal is here let's see uh what we can see here oh i know we're going to show this yep and here we go all right that's a sorcery damn it ah shoot well let's go see if we can fix that Vapor snag again. That's not really going to do much. We've got snap already. If it has the least power, or is it tied for power? Hold on a minute. I got to read this. Destroy target creature. If it power toughness. If it has the least power, or is tied for the least power. Okay, so that's not going to really do anything against us. Uh, I'm going to throw this on the bottom and this on the bottom. I think I'm reading Wretched Banquet right, right? I'm kind of a dummy when it comes to that stuff, so keep me in mind there. Power, toughness. Let's go get some more stuff here. All right. Uh, no. 
note. I'm going to go all in here. See if we can get this here. I'll drop this. Come on over for a Sarah Angel in blue. Yeah, I thought that too, Nimchimsky, but you know, there's so many little if ands except on Tuesdays sort of cards it's it's mentioning there, so I'm a little hesitant on deciding that. Especially when you're streaming, you just feel like a little on, on edge, like, ooh we really don't want to see a goddamn chainer's edict here. Whew, let's go find the answer for it. Come on. It's none of this. Useless, useless, useless. We've already got two dispels. I'm gonna throw all of this back. I really, there we go, perfect. I've got spell backup and I've got uh, edict insurance. So so what I was t saying about that protection from red guy, that's nice and all if you're going against RDW, but what about every other matchup? And uh, being proactive, I kind of really like this card. It gives it a boost. Makes We have only got 12 creatures, we've got to protect them. So a 4-3 shroud is nothing to you know, mess around with. I think the spell fist or the... Um, Abomination are the two main targets for it. We'll see. Flavor text of Segovian Angels is pretty great. What does it say, my friend? I I can't really look at it right now. Woo! All right. Wretched banquet. That's so foul. I love it. <laughs> Little Freudian slip there. <laughs> Oh, and if anybody out there does have any ideas about, you know, fundraising and stuff, I mean, that's the dream, right? I would love to be able to do this more often, keep doing more commercials, and in a few years look back and go, oh, my God, that's my job. So if you have any ideas, send them to popagain at gmail.com because I have to admit, I'm an old guy. I don't like Red Edit. I don't like Discord. I don't like Twitter. Facebook I only like because I can – here's my deck. Here's all my reasonings. Here's a huge, you know, column of, of – uh, Q and A's and stuff like that, and I can go back and see it and and you know kind of catalog it. So I really like it for that kind of like an online library of laying. But um, yeah, if you got anything, set it popagain at gmail dot com. And uh, yeah, just trying to move things forward here, evolve. I mean, that'd be the, kind of the dream. I'm considering spell pierce either instead of dispel or as a split. Ugh. I have tried it, Devon. I think you'll find the games it helps you've already won and the games when you really need need it it won't help i hope that helps <laughs> all right here we are okay this feels pretty good let's rock like this let's do that They're sitting on some sort of technology here. All right, we'll dispel that. That's kind of what I was hoping for, is some more tricks so I can turn on the spell fist even more. Wretched Banquet is confusing. Ding. 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 Now, hold on a minute. So that's 6, 10. Ah, we can get him to 11. If we just attack with... Uh, I'll save it for the trick there. Hmm. That'll be 7, that'll be 11. I'm going to snap it right now. Boink. Go draw your cards. Booyah! Boink. Is this where they wretched and chainer and I regret everything I just did, but that wouldn't have really saved me much. 
I can't shroud my own dude. I'll drop this. Does he got another edict? If he does, we're really screwed. Not really. I mean, it's one. Oh, all right. Drew what he needed. All right, one vapor snag, and we're in it. Unless they've got a life land. <laughs> vapor snag kill. That's my favorite kind of kill. Woo! Hey, boy. <laughs> Come on, Augur. Show up, please. Let's go. Ah, damn it. I hate good opponents. <laughs> Got him at one life. Come on, what more do we want? Man, Diabolic and Chainers. That's a little scary for my deck. Come on, come on. Let's pull 2-1 here. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right. Ooh, well, we've got this figure counterspell with Mutagenic. I've been in so many of these games, I'm sure many of you have too. 17 to 1, and you end up losing it. This is when that tide just feels like a wave coming in and out. So, All right. Some blood, interesting choice. Damn, Radiant Fountain's gonna keep him in it. Mm, this is getting frustrating. All right, man, I was hoping we could just win fast. Be nice for a change. All these like these have been pretty long matchups. I've already been on an hour and a half. We're only on halfway through round three. Craziness. Okay, well, just figure this lives through it. We can snag our own dude. We'll do this. Hello. What's going on? They're going to be at five life next turn. Ay, ay, ay. Wretched Banquet. What a confusing card. Destroy target creature if it has the least power. All right. I hate to do this. But I will. I don't have that many creatures. I got to be a wee bit safe with my stuff. I know they're going to be at 5 life next turn, so there's no Vapor Snag kill anymore, folks. I really, really, really think we're going to uh, lose this first game. I don't mean to sound like a uh, Debbie Downer, but they've got 5 cards to our 2. They know what it is. They've got like 3 answers in their hand that we know of that are going to be kind of capable of dealing with it. Hmm. Alright, there's the 5 life. just like that all of a sudden this is feeling good not good good for them that's why you gotta love this game even when you're losing it's great ha righty -o. yeah a rooster nap is coming up at the next break we'll be checking that out I think I'll grab my third beer of the day and call it quits it's a good number for some reason I love these blue moon Belgian whites but at number three, I just feel, I just feel done. Same cannot be said for wine. All right. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. I mean, we've got an answer here. If he wants to uh, innocent blood and buy us some time, or wretched banquet, and we can buy some more stuff here. My computer is flipping out. Sounds like eight fans are going off. So hopefully the feed keeps up. Disfigure. All right. That's cool. Negative two, two, and you gain two life. Not quite sure what the uh, best play is here. We'll just uh, make it live. We'll lose two and go from there. I'll still gain the life, though. Oop, all right. Well, maybe you won't. Um, I guess we'll have to do this then. Blue tricks. Man, intimidating. We still know he has two removal spells and we're playing a 12 creature deck. So those are pretty much a, maybe have a drunken propaganda episode with only drunken history clips and drunken popper. Yeah, I might do that one of these days to make sure the wife's out of town in case I get a little too crazy. 
The problem is it's just advanced enough. I wish you guys knew on this end of it. It's not like OBS. I've, I've, I've got a lot of camera angles and things to do and I'm trying to stay active. And outside of making a fool of myself or, or messing something up, I mean, I guess if we labeled it as a drunken show, that would be a kind of a funny thing like the inebriation outing or something like that. But um, there's, it's more likely that I would just like after the second or third round, I would just be like, all right, I forget how to do this. And all these things are confusing. All right, we'll bring this out. If anything, what's he got here? Okay, uh, uh, we're too low on life here. A drunk deck. You know, this kind of feels like it, a spell fist, you know, like drunken master Jackie Chan, he leans back and he's like, pop, 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 and he comes back out and all of a sudden it's just a bunch of offense out of the blue. I do get retarded fast. <laughs> I still, I, I'm still a pretty good player. But, uh, boy, figuring out, like, you know, what was your phone number at your third house? I'd be like, uh, I turn into Patrick from SpongeBob pretty fast. It's funny. It's what, you know, having a few in you is, I just love it for uh, deck design. I really do. It's uh, a lot of the best ideas I've come up with have been in a, about a glass or two of wine or maybe three in, and I'm like, what about this? And at first... <coughs> it's not all that great, but the next morning, my clearer mind sees it, something that I wouldn't have seen otherwise, and it's like, oh, there's something there. I'm not a blue player, but your content that if you're not a blue player, try this deck. Hell true. You really do turn a lot of guys sideways and get after that life total pretty quickly. Yeah, and Devon, uh, I appreciate you pointing that out because it's not that apparent this game. Um, we're not having the best game here. And we still haven't had, if you watched our last one, it was about three or four weeks ago, I played this with when Gush was legal and stuff. We could kill on turn three. This one can kill on turn four. And it's, I find, I, I'm almost leaning towards liking this one better. Feels a little less all in, but we'll see. Oh, we've, Piracy Charm's a real deal here. Oh, boy, is this, all right. So I'm going to bring in Echoing Truth just because he showed us a forest. I think the only reason other than a uh, uh, Pulse of Marasa against Burn, I think, are those... Uh, what's the Convoke mechanic with the little 1-1s? One they just nibble you to death. So I think this is probably the only creatures in this deck other than 1-1s, one -ones, I would guess, are the Augurs, just to draw. All right, we're killing it here. Off the game. we got to watch our time. I'm at 60 minutes lost. We've lost every first game. This is weird. Usually it's, uh, if you look at my league score on the last one, it was like 2 2 2 2 a lot of those. All right. Well, Counterspell is definitely coming in, and so are these. I don't think I'm going to lead on Spreading Seas here, but I will bring in the Truth, I will bring in Dispel, and I will bring in this. I'm not so much after um, Island Walk here or Discard. I've got to lose three more cards. Um, I'm going to favor probably three Snaps. And I think that might do it. Uh, let me go grab a beer real quick. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, let's rock this. Whoosh. All right. So we're one and one. Hopefully we can go two one. 
before we go to our rooster nap video. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we got. Yeah, all right, I'll keep it. We've got draw, I've got early double delver. Let's see if I can keep this thing alive. A little bit of a chancy keep, but let's hope we get lucky first. If we draw island next, that'd be pretty rocking. We could drop another delver, even a clout, keep it from, just try to win fast. The longer the game goes, pretty bad. All right. That's better than a swamp. Maybe that's another two turns behind. Ah, sure, I'm having fun with you guys today. It feels like it's been weeks. I know I had a very top secret interview last week. That's why I missed the show. And it did have to do with wizards. That's all I can get into. For legal ND NDA reasons. <laughs> I gotta, I'm not good at acronyms. All right. Yes! Woo! All right. Um, I'm going to go all in with this. Just hope that we, if we draw an island next turn, that's cool. If not, I can preordain, find one clout, and then uh, we've got edict insurance. So that's my theory anyway. All right. Don't pry because I can't save. All right, here we go. Another reminder. Tomorrow at this very time, Little Fight will be playing Arena Popper. Be a grand experiment. Be very cool. All right, let's go, let's go. Island, please. Well, I'm kind of torn here. If you need it, both of them flip, right? No. Okay. We've got this. Am um, I gonna throw this down? I want to wait till it's totally cleared before I drop the clout. I've got so many targets for it. I'm fine. The plot thickens. This is correct. Come on, sucker. I feel like Mr. T. Come on, Creed. Yeah. Boy, am I glad I didn't use clout. All right. Kind of a good scenario for Echoing Decay. Yikes. All of a sudden, everything felt so good. That's why it would have been nice to have top deck dispel there. Well, no, we needed an island, so we could double play it, but now it would be nice to have a dispel show up. Okay, shoot. I really hate that. Come on, what's it going to be? Enough drama. Nobody has days. Let's go. Drama queen. No. Okay. Let's make sure this goes right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll say uh, top. Top. I'll just play it. Next turn, we'll be doing some fun stuff. It's your birthday tomorrow. I apologize, my friend. Usually only Facebook identifies people's birthdays, but I know it was close to the beginning of summertime, so we'll have to check that out. You're going to stream Popper on your own birthday? It's the best way to do it, baby. Ah, yeah, Little Fight and I have always been like the human equivalent of a yin and yang symbol. Always like, like nighttime, cold, the dark, stormy weather. He's like the sun lover. It's a nice sunny day. Born in the summer, I'm born in the winter. It's pretty funny, actually. I don't think if we were like computer programs or, or stats, people would be like, those two aren't compatible, but we sure seem to hit it off. All right, come on. Let's just get an easy win here and walk home with the with the uh, victory. Oy. Now that echoing is a thing, got to be careful of these Delvers going... Dead Dover. Because of that, well, ah, this is tough. I know he's got those. I'm actually going to lose the spell fist here because we don't see another swamp. We know these are going to flip. 
This will get out of echoing range, so one of them will live. If I draw another... Ah, this is frustrating. Nail biting, frustrating. We can always vapor snag our dude. Save it from an echo. Ah! All right. Our opponent's taking a crazy amount of time. Good God, I hope this isn't an echoing decay. Our game will be pretty much over. Eh, it's not so bad. Yes. Boing. But now I have to kind of do this other thing. Ah! Let me bring this out. This, we know they have a lot of edict effects, so I'm just going to kind of wait for my opportunity here. If we get another island, I'll be all right. I can clout with counterspell backup, vapor snag, and such, but... Hmm. Okay. Guy, just give me an opening every turn. It's like, get rid of something. Get rid of something. All right, there's an opening. Good times. All right. Yeah, I'm not a. I just can't get into arena either. If I play about four or five games, you get kind of in the cadence of the in the flow of it. But it's just like turn down those sound effects and all the visual candy. It's like let me just play the game. All right. Oh, I'm gonna rock this with this. I could have a snuff out here. That would suck. All right. Two, four, six, seven. This is why I don't like Counterspell. I know it seems ridiculous, right? It's a blue deck. Not running Counterspell? You see the pace of it? It's like even, even here, it's like I just wish it was just another thing. Two, four, six. God dang it. Three, four, five, six. All right. Well, I don't think a uh, vapor snag and it's going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Please don't have a lot of the land. Just going to suck. Hex and Ruse, we are one and one. Hopefully we're gonna we've gotta get a creature out here. So see how counter spells just kind of I mean I guess we could we could sit back and wait to counter the let's see, two, four, six, seven. He might have dispel in hand with the counter with the edict in the yard. I don't know if we want to lean on it that hard. <sighs> or we just, you know, we risk playing Strix here and getting excluded. What do you guys vote? Strix or sit back on Counterspell, let him tap out and counter it? Yeah, that doesn't help. When we take a chance on preordain, we don't find anything, we're really screwed. You guys are not helping matters. Um... To Strix or not to Strix? Two cards in his hand. Shroud, only edicts work. Good point. I'll attack first. I'm going to pass. I've got to only edicts work here. That's a good sign. At least there's no diabolic in hand. Yeah, there is, but they, they have to pretty much tap out for it when we have a counter spell, so. Come on, no dispel. Woo! That's what I wanted. All right, now we can play our dude. Uh, let's look first. 
Uh, say bottom, bottom. I really want to spell here. That's good too. And this is when I don't like the uh, clout because I can't really mutagenic my guy here. But I can keep my sky theater alive. You can echoing truth to minutes. That's a very good point, Colossal T. You are correct. I know it's a lot of times you feel like, oh, I'm safe. It's like, or, you know, pyroblast or hydroblast. You know, a lot of these things when you feel you've got everything locked in, there's usually a way to wiggle out of it, just like Guardian of the Guild Pact with Flaring Pain. Nope. Well, that's the problem with a fight. This deck usually eats up the first main phase. You want to be doing tricks so that all your stuff gets boosted. But I get what you're saying. All right. Well, I had to use two spells for that. I'm okay with that. He gains some life. Come on, creature. Give me a creature. Give me a creature. Ah! No edicts, no edicts, come on. No whammies. Let's go. God, why can't I have a dispel? Only have four of them, and we're halfway through our deck almost. Don't have an edict. Come on. We're only hitting for two because of those damn talismans. I like this. Hmm. That's not really doing anything. We'll say bottom, bottom. I mean, I could return talismans, but... Ugh. Thanks a freaking lot. Only hitting for two here. Boy, do we need careful study. I do not want to see these islands. Come on, forget the life. Forget it, forget it. Come on. Be a, be a regular guy. Now life continues. Every card drawn, I just get more and more dread. I haven't seen Exclude yet. I haven't seen much counter magic. Shroud is really holding down the fort here. Come on, careful study. Uh, not what I needed. This is like really typical of why I don't like this. What? He just, I think they might be drinking. Could have stayed alive there. We'll take it. All right. You know, I like Piracy Charm over Snap in this one. I'm actually... I think the only thing we have seen is um, Augur. All of our stuff gets past it. So I'm actually going to only keep one Vapor Snag in now because it's only going to save our own dudes. Whereas this gives us Island Walk if they do have Augur out, which is very ridiculous because the only thing that can block it is if we play one spell, it's already unblockable. But I can make them discard and get in that crucial damage. See, when you play Piracy Charm on a Sky Theater Strix or on a Spell Fist, it's pretty much a 3 minus 1. It's just like a giant growth. I'm just wondering if Spreading Seas makes one appearance. We're going to rock like this. All right, all right. Ah, damn, bouncy screen. Oh, God, I would give four tickets to, for the cure of that. Woo, this is a good hand. All right, we'll keep this. Not the fastest hand, but especially on the draw. We've got the Stormbound guys to really mop up tricks. Two of them at that, and uh, we're good to go. Hmm. All right. I was going to say, hey, look, we're ahead on time, but we're not. <laughs> For some reason, this blabbermouth can't seem to keep everything in check. Can I get a ooh from the audience? Got to get a little Ric Flair in this. Okay. Well, geez. Uh, sorry for the uh, t 
tilt. I don't know what that is, but maybe they uh, didn't have any lands or, or whatnot. So we'll roll to this. And as we do that, we'll rock to this and go over these lists. Pondering Mage, I think, just costs too much. But Phantasmal Form, oh my god. Give me a break. Okay, uh, Reign of Revelation, interesting. Instant. I think that'll see some play. Super EOT, end of turn, sort of uh, blue control decks. This is just Flavor City Smoke Shroud. Pretty pretty badass. Uh, Scour of Possibilities, I think, actually has a spot in some things. Stream of Thought, this is insane. Replicate, good times. This is interesting. I just don't think it'll see much play. It's like the Blue Chain Lightning, right? But by the time you figure what are you returning, what are you paying for, it ends up not being all that uh, worthwhile. And if it is, you're winning anyway. So, All right. Well, let's see what our options are here. Not much. Oh, Mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this. I love two lands, two creatures. If you, if you like this deck, if you're watching this on YouTube later and it's 40 years from now and I'm dead... Two lands, two creatures, good times. We'll keep this. I think I got like a 90% win ratio when that happens. We'll throw this on the bottom. All right. Hopefully this isn't Boros. That's some white weenie build. Hey, maybe we do want it to be Boros because we just drew the uh, kind of the kill card. Cloud of the Dominus. Silly but very effective. Ouch. It's another Pestilence deck. Are you kidding me? I didn't get the memo that uh, this was the thing. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll face that. Oop. Because we're going up against a lot of uh, Edict style effects, we're just going to do that. The good news about this deck, too, is outside of a, uh, I want to say an unkicked Delver, but that's unflipped Delver. That's the right, correct turn. There's, like, Electricery and stuff. There's not many... Uh, Cool answers for it. All right. That's dead. Sorry. Another island will be good times. Oh, boy. This is going to be a long one. Can I, can I just get it easy, like a stompy matchup or something? This is ridiculous. Huh. We might be able to... Let me do this. I just want to find some uh, life here. I don't think we're going to be attacking far enough. That commie is just going to keep coming back. And we don't have any graveyard synergy in this list at all. <coughs> hmm. I'm actually going to throw all these on the bottom. I'm looking for a land right now. There it is. I'm just going to play this. So we're out of uh, we got some Edict Insurance. Next turn I'll go a little ape crazy. Yeah, I really love Piracy Charm. Um, I had Gut Shot for a while in the very first iterations of this build. And uh, just a few too many burn matchups where it was like, wow, I'm I'm dead here. And Piracy Charm, it's like the blue giant growth in this build. So, oh, man, I castigate, damn it. It's a no-brainer just because of the two for one. They could all be even. It's just like, well, you have two of those and one of those. Castrated, yep. <laughs> I better start talking like this. After that castration... Castration of the nation. Woo! All right, here we go. Time for the choir. Yeah, let's uh, let's attack. How am I gonna do this? That's no joke. That's six damage right there. Yeah, you're right, Nimchimsky. EOT on their end, I can always Piracy Charm and stop them from uh, having that little fog effect. So, Piracy Charm. Of course, blue gets the best charm, too. Let's all roll our eyes together. So, Freed from the real, Pestilence. There's a few decks like this that... I do believe are tier one, but they, the exact 75 has not been figured out yet. Nobody's done it. You get some good runs, and you can't repeat it. And the reason for that is there's 
people are uh, leaning on the same cards too often. They're uh, at a, at a certain point, groups are great, but there's a certain point when groupthink actually hinders design, and I think that's what's happening with both those decks. I'm gonna rock like this. We're gonna rock like this, so that there's no repeatability, and I get to hit you. And we're gonna swing. It's like choose one of these three very effective things. Whereas every other charm, it's like one's good, one's pretty, eh, and the other one's really bad. <laughs> like, can you say blue wins? Ugh, this is getting down to the wire. Come on. Give me something good. Ah, shit. Never mind. Come on, castigate me now, sucker. Castigate. I want to be castigated. Don't quote me on that. All right. 12. Man, just like that. Boom. I'm right back in it. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. Boy, oh, boy. All attack. I mean... Don't want to be bouncing a lone missionary. If I get edict here, I can at least save it. Cost him a turn. <laughs> Vision charm, hex and rouge. Nice one. Yeah, believe me. I've, as encyclopedic as my head is with MTGO, I, I always go through the charms in, in a uh, stage of design. Oh, boy. This is feeling really weird. <laughs> I mean, I could uh, snap my spell fist and then counter it. Hit for three. I think we just hang out. All right. Yep. Son of a gun. Well, we get a little Sky Theater action going on here. Problem is, they're going to be like a, more life than we are next turn. It's just ridiculous. Uh, drop this just so we have the utility to use it. Well, I can think of no better target for just s uh, slowing things down outside of Sky Theater not having any sort of a uh, tempo right now, but I will be able to get in for two here. Get him a single digits, but the problem is we know what's right behind it. It's just buying time. I think we've lost this first one. I think we've <laughs> we've lost every first game. It's so different from my last like eight outings with this deck. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call, I guess. See, you gotta attack there. You gotta assume I've got like pawn or preordain. You just cannot. Uh, that's the benefit of not having a, no, not knowing this deck very well. We could win right here. It depends. Really depends on what we've got here. It's another reason why we like to spell. Oh boy, this is a really shitty hand here. Um, we can't really just spell anything. Clout's not gonna do much of anything. Let's see. That's four. It'll. That will be three, four. Let's see, that's uh, get it for six. I've got to throw all this back because we don't have an instant. I really need to be able to do something and counter an instant because this is going to get shuffle my library. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Hold down control. We will vapor snag our strix. We will counter our Vapor Snag. Now if he activates, we will win. Of course, all he's got to do is drop his dude and then trigger. Might be able to pull it off here. Why we really lean on dispel over counterspell on this build. 
All right. Five life, just like that. Boink, sorry. I win. Such a tough matchup. Only thing favored is that, you know, they don't really quite know what they're uh, up against here. Uh, do the little quick bluff here. Oh, boy, I can't even attack here because if I... And let me do that. Um... Man. Yeah, this spell's really good against your own spells. I mean, what do you want for more for one one blue, right? We missed it by one life. Hmm. I don't know how it would give me away. I mean, how did it make them adjust their play that would have come out with a different outcome, right? Close one. I think we're going to end up with an L like we did all the other rounds. Let's see what's happening here. Is he just going to hit us for three? Oh, God, how good would Vapor Snag be right here, right? Yeah, the way he did it, we couldn't have used Vapor Snag, though. That was a good play. Nicely done. Boy, he's really up against it. Really needs white mana. Note to self, we're definitely going to bring in Spreading Seas. They seem to be uh, shy on white. Like this. Hmm. Um, hmm. Uh, we haven't seen many instants. I'll say uh, top. We'll rock like this. Hopefully draw Castigate out. He's got to kill himself to hit us. I'm not sure what you mean, Hex and Rouge. What'd you see, my friend? No life. Come on, don't be a life of any kind. Custody Squire. Well, we could still get some bounce here. Excuse me, I hope we don't get bouncy screen, but I have to show the log here to... Damn it. Of course we did. He votes Artifact. How do I choose Artifact? I can see cards, but I don't see any artifacts here. Is there an artifact? These aren't artifacts. Vote for artifact, creature, or enchantment. Uh, oh, he votes for lone missionary. Okay, I'll vote for that too. I always want to choose the same thing. Come on, Vapor Snag for the win. Vapor Snag. We've got... This is game one, so we've got a bunch of them. We've got one in the yard. We've got three left in the deck. Come on. You know, even a um, snap or vapor snack. Snap or vapor snack. Not that. Thanks a lot. Maybe they'll get a little wanton and do that. Dang it. We had seven cards that could have won us the game right then and there, but we drew a Delver. And here they come. All right. Ah, shit. All right. One, two... I should have paid two white for that, and he could have killed us right now. That being said, we're going to roll this game over, because they should have won that turn, so I don't want to win because... Oh, sh my pen just exploded. Oh, no! My my Seattle pen that I always do well with, I just set it down, and the top blew off, so that bodes poorly for this next outing. These are coming in. These are coming in. These are all coming in. I'm going to bring this in, too. I'm going to lose Dispel, but just all together. Piracy Charm all together. Where does that put us? Two cards left. We've got Protection. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I think I'll lean off of uh, Snags. We're only going to have two Snags. Let me uh, get my pen.
for a pin. Gotta put it back together. All right, got it fixed. Good luck is back on our side. Boom, boom. All right. Hex and Ruse, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for the support, as always. We'll see you next time, my friend. All right. Hey, we didn't get bouncy screen. See, I fixed the pin. Oh, ooh. Three creatures, double delver, preordained, mutagenic backup. We are going to keep this. You know what? Maybe I should just keep this open because it's, uh, the screen didn't bounce. What if I can you remind me of that? Maybe next week if we keep that open, see if it uh, does that. Just a little sticky note. Or just text me and I'll write it down for myself so you don't have to be bothered with it. That's weird. We kept that open and it didn't give bouncy screen for the first time. Yeah! Check this out, baby. Ooh, we're going to drop like this. We're going to go like this. Um, we'll throw one of these on the bottom. Top. I'll do that. Three is okay. Yeah, it might. You are pretty tech savvy, so your probably your hunch is probably correct, my friend. Hmm. What do we got here? Castigate. Man, I gotta start talking like this again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I'll walk you. Counterspell. Okay, I'm cool with that, man. It's reactionary. I'm trying to be proactive. Let's flip. Come on. No. Okay. Boy, is he going to be mad he missed this. Wambo. This will be over quick if things go according to plan. The Harry Potter Geist is out. Ugh. All right. Well, he's going to have to trip it. Man, oh man, do I want to get that uh, enchant land out here. Or, you know, I should have remembered we got rid of a uh, piracy charm, so we've got no way out of that. EOT. Yep. Well, we can still end up turn vapor snag. That's good times. We're just going to smash in here. Good choice. This feels like we're going to win this one. We've got answers. All right. So for the first time today, this deck is playing like it usually does in uh, when I'm playing in, well, solo or just tournament outings and stuff. Ugh. All right. What's he going to target here? Stormbound says, no, no. I'll pay a life to prevent that from happening, that's for sure. I'm cool with that. It's pretty much a time walk, unless he's got another one right behind it. What's he got? Core missionary, maybe? Hmm. All right. Well, that's the weakest. I'll bring this up. Attack for six. I'm going to make it hit while we can. Bam. Dead next turn. Figure it out. Let's hope for the best. We get a quick win here, finally. All right. 
Ouch. Okay, well, he's going to return that, but he's going to be tapped out, and then we're going to be able to swing for the uh, win. If he grabs Geist. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. Woo. A little too little too late. It's a very cool deck, though. We've pretty much had really horrible matchups. Boros, Pestilence, Demir, Pestilence. And we're playing a creature deck with only 12, and we're winning. So uh, let's keep that in mind. And here we go for the win. Boom. And just like that. Off to game three. Well, I want to bring this in. Not sure what to lean against here. I think I'll take out one mutagenic. Let's try that. I really want to have two snags. Save our guys or to end of turn their, um, you know what? You know what? Uh, we are... Two and one right now. Hopefully we'll go three one. And then four one. And we can look back. Wonder what went wrong with Boros. Okay, we're on the draw. We have preordained we're a little flooded here, but we have a creature. We can save it with snag. I'm gonna lean on keeping this. This is right on the edge though. If that vapor snag was an island, I would toss this. Ah, those are such good cards. All right, let's go. Bottom, top. I don't like brainstorming this build. I tried it for a little while. It's just depressing when you look at hands and you can't really adjust anything. Ponder always lets you shuffle. Yes, there's those outside scenarios when it's turn two and your Delver doesn't flip and you can do it at an instant speed, but outside of that one scenario, I just don't think it's worth the uh, despondency that it brings otherwise. <sighs> we only have one creature. I'm going to ponder here instead of going completely naked with this. I like that. We're going to say uh, top, top, Top. Actually, if I could do that over again, I would, just in case we get castigated. No, we'll keep this here, and we'll uh, hope hope we don't get castigated here. Reason I wanted it, if I put mutagenic there, if castigate us, they grab counter spell or sky theater. But at this stage, they probably draw us, uh, grab spreading sea. So, yeah, I totally agree with you. Whatever you hate. I mean, I tried it. I was just like, you know what? I always like to just throw those kind of ideas under the wind and be like, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. But sometimes you, you feel the deck out and you're like, ooh, that does not feel good. All right. That landed. That feels good. Okay. Come on. Be land screwed. Something going our favor here. We don't even have a creature out. Have a bunch of white spells and nothing to do with them. We're a little flooded here. I'm just going to go like this. It's going to lose a life. <laughs> Be kind of silly to. Oh, he lost a life. <laughs> you should have just pitched it instead. Probably a little hasty, too hasty of a play for me. I think preordain will get banned, or it'll be restricted. It's my vote. Get that facility. Okay, cool. This feels like that uh, second game, doesn't it? Ah, thank you, careful study. Finally, you show up when I want you to. Get rid of these crappy things. Bring this out. Boom, boom. See that acceleration? Ba -ba 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 bam. Need no crappy islands? Get rid of them. Draw good stuff. I just drew two cards for one mana. That was great. Good times. 
All right, well, that sucks. No. Okay. Well, I'll obviously keep that back. Might as well do it while I can. And I've got a counter spell if he drops, say, a guardian here. So it's at least going to kind of cost him a turn here to wipe out my board. And we can double it up with the Sky Theater and Spell Fist combo. Long show today. I apologize. I, th I thought this would be a really fast thing, but we've faced Boros, Pestilence, Demir, and Pestilence. And we still have one more round to go, so. Hmm. Yeah, Flicker really does need to get banned. I'd, I'd actually have to lean on that. That was a strange bounce, wasn't it? Boy, they just. What a strange scenario. Okay. Okay. I like that play. Nope. This is just a your turn fest as we get a free disenchant out of the deal. Not Nick for 20. I think Ghostly Flicker gets banned, then displaced just takes its place. Hmm. Yeah, most of those seem to, huh? All right. I'm okay with a little... It's not like he's at one life here. We'll see what's going on here. Yeah, we're countering that. I mean, we could probably take it from him, but... All right. Five. Okay. Not feeling good here. We're one and one against this deck here. Boop. Boop. Rock like this. I don't think Ghostly Flicker needs to be banned, says whatever you hate. I just think it's annoying to play against Tron. It would be something that fixed the format. It was funny when I was putting together that promo for the uh, Pure Popper tournament where nothing is banned. It was like just a showcase of blue. So I had to try to. It's like, well, why? Why just show Cloud Post? It's like, well, come on. There's nothing that's been banned in white. So I'm trying to kind of. You know, but and then black, it's like, well, there's an activation in cranial plating. So, okay, I showed that for black as far as the pulsing of mana goes. But outside of that, it was, <laughs> it was a little grim. I will play this. We are done casting lands. I'm just doing this so that I've got an answer here if he's got some sort of journey to know our crapola. And uh, I think we'll go like... I'll hold this back. <laughs> sure, Rosamond. You know, I think I've had Manatai play, played against me maybe eight times, and I think seven of them, it meant the victory. It's just so out of the blue. It's, it's Rogue Incarnate. I love it. And I thought about playing Peak in this deck. Talk about Ops... Uh, more retarded young brother. It's a pretty cool little card. Nice uh, upkeep, trip the Delver sort of thing outside of a brainstorm. I've really thought about it, especially with 12 creatures. It, I wouldn't say it's a terrible idea if somebody wanted to run it over like, uh, hey man, and Chimsky, you are on it. I'm going to be like a full-fledged engineer on the SS metagame here. What's going down? All right, so this is the scenario I was waiting for. I'm uh, just going to return this. I, I could Journey to Nowhere in response. I mean, uh, Echoing Truth, the Journey to Nowhere. Unless there's multiples of them. I'm just going to do this so that he just kind of wastes his uh, mana there. And I've got this. I mean, if he's got a cast again, I'm going to feel like shit. But whatever. 11 minutes, 13 minutes. I just got to yield through this turn. Yeah, I've always liked the uh, Disruptive Student, and there's a, there's another one that does the exact same thing, and I think with those Drakes and, like, Force Spikes, there could be a deck there. 
where you just completely lock somebody out. Oh man, it's gonna get a little two for one here. Hopefully he uses it right away. Nope, they're gonna wait on the Geist, okay. Good call. I think we're losing this one, guys. I'm gonna play this just because he thinks he's getting it. And he will. But then we're gonna play it again right afterwards. He's probably like, what's he doing? Well, I we just drew another one. Unless he got a cast a gate. We're all right. Just doesn't feel like we're winning this one. Too many resources on our opponent's side here, and we haven't we haven't done our job fast enough, so I'm okay losing this one. And it's a horrible matchup. We shouldn't have won that last one. Okay, well, you want to wipe the board. That's cool. Hey, mister, what's going on here? Hmm. To land advantage, all right. Kami's in the house. Two, three. Hey! That snap's going to be invaluable, I think. Also of note, Hoodwink or Boomerang, depending on your metagame, it's a little extreme. I could see it happening. Oop, oop. So we keep this race going even. All right. Sure. Let me be on the lookout here. We might be able to win out of the blue if he times this wrong or does the wrong series of uh, mana cost here. Ah, not going to happen, is it? Um... Snap. Hi from Bogota. Going back to SDO soon. Great to see that I could catch you live while you're on my ride back home. All right, Syscoms. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. A very long show today. We're playing a very aggressive deck, but every one of our opponents, by complete serendipity, is just this slow, prodding Gears with Rust and Boros, the traditional one, Pestilence, Demir, and now Pestilence again. It's like, God, what's next? Just Tron? Ugh. Let's play this. I'll swing on in for four. What's going to happen here? Yeah. I know, don't say the T word. Never dropped a game no Tron yet, but I've only played it about three times, but I'm 3-0. and Always because of those spreading seas. All right, Kami's gone. That's cool. I think at this stage I might want to start blocking with the Geist. Okay, this is going to hurt. Our own Geist is going to screw us up here. He's going to rely on its undying ability to keep his Pestilence alive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, he's got us. Cool angle. I didn't see that C4X2. So it looks like we're going to be two and two. I'm surprised we got Pestilence the first time, but we're not going to be so lucky this time. Boink. With the two life difference, that's all it takes, folks. You know what, though? I haven't punted yet today, so that's a rarity, usually when I'm hosting, talking, and stuff. Anyway, guys, hey, we're going to check out how you 
uh, hypnotize a rooster. If you don't like to support this show, well, then the hell with you because we've got skits like this. Check this out. They know how to hypnotize a rooster. Ready? So you hold him like this. Watch, watch Tooster's body. Watch this. Watch his body. Oh my gosh. Watch. He's totally fixated on the line. Watch. He's asleep. This is just like when they're roosting. How long will he stay like that? A few minutes. Sometimes I'll stand up and stare at it and then lay down on the If we erase the line, will he wake up? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Is he gonna peck me? Oh my gosh, if you erase the line. <laughs> <laughs> if you heard that little Ric Flair at the end, it's extra points. All right, we're going to keep this just because we have preordained. But if we don't find a creature, we're in deep shit. All right. And the screen didn't work, so don't bother texting me that. See how it bounced again? So might as well kill it for screen real estate. All right. Finally, something that isn't slow and prodding. This looks like it might try to kill us before we kill it. Woo. All right, let's go. Yeah, Little Fight's literally the master at that. Uh, if you guys have any questions in the chat, hit him up. See, he's got all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm actually going to patch. I'll say bottom. I'll say top. I want two creatures. All right. <coughs> yeah, he did a whole field of them. How, what was the total number, Little Fight? Like 12 of them all at once, and then you like clapped your hands, and they all came alive. Scared the crap out of your old man. Now that's a story, my friends. Let's do this. Be Since we're up against Celestia and I don't know what it is, I'm going to lean on Cloud of the Dom Dominus and uh, hope for the best after that. If it's slivers or something like that, we can at least uh, fly over overhead and do some good. We'll drop this here. Go like this. Doop. We'll lean on the Spell Fist and everything else to buy us some time here. I think we're going to go 3-2 today. Not sure. <laughs> it's that kind of stuff in life, you know. You you think you know it all, and you you see something like that, and you're like, same with feigning goats. About ten or fifteen years ago, I was like, what? I laughed so hard when I first saw that. Like, are you kidding me? So here's a really, I mean, this. So this is the kind of hand. Like, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to show this on propaganda because this happens all the time. And it, Boros. Pestilence, Demir. We're just going to sleep over here. We'll throw these all on the bottom. Yeah, I want to shuffle. Cool. I'll drop another creature. And we'll attack. Problem is, I don't want to kill him too fast because I want to know what he's on so we sideboard accordingly. You don't want to really rub it in here. Um, I mean, I guess we could just do this. This is a chancy play because he might quit, and then we don't know if it's up against slivers. Is this hexproof? Some weird rogue build? We don't know. We do know he's not going to be blocking anytime soon. All right. Chicken hypnotist B says Nim Chimsky. I'm, I know I'm reading in the middle. I, I know there's a new chat since then. Yeah, that'd be a question for Little Fight. Simic with a splash of red. All right, well. I mean, we just go for the win here if I hold down Vapor Snag. I mean, if I hold down uh, Control, that's what I'm talking about. Do that old trick, and then I Vapor Snag my own dude. Yep, we're going to counter that. And hopefully we don't run into some sort of fog, because then I'll feel like a jackass for blowing that. But what are you going to do? 4-3 Shroud ain't nothing to sneeze at. Here comes 10. Oh no! <laughs> we blew our dispel for the win. That sucks. Oh well. Well, they they're on their heels here, so they've got to draw a land and then wait and then do it again and then we might even have a uh, dispel show up here. Nope. All right. Well, I thought I was being clever, going for an exact ten win there, but oh well. <laughs> Growing ups for suckers. Seven, huh? All right. What on earth are we playing against? 
Feels like I'm playing against myself here. What, what's going on here? Good news, they're going to be just on their heels this whole game. They, they just have to sit back and do, like, nothing. So, fog deck? Yeah, maybe. Oh, we've got dispels to handle that. We'll see how this goes. Boy, this is just enter the battlefield tap dot deck. This is crazy. Come on, dispel. Show up, please. All right, that's fine. All right. I really don't know what this is going to do, but you never know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Might flip. Might mean the difference. They might gain a lot of life. There we go. Bant land destruction. <laughs> I don't even think I would attempt that. All right. Well, good for them for not showing us because we're just kind of going in naked here. So that I'll just write down Bant with a question mark. Uh, there was a whole lot of... Um, that last land, though, was a, was a blue, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're going to lean on Dispel here. Counterspell. Spreading Seas. What do you guys vote? I think Piracy Charm can probably go out. I don't think we're going to have to really worry about much. Right now, we're kind of unknown, so I'm bringing in Counterspell to kind of deal with that. I don't think we're going to have to lean on Snap too much. I'm going to uh, favor the um, Spreading Seas cantrip. For that, Bant Fog, haven't you heard? It didn't work. Spreading Seas is in. Counter Spells in. We've got our full set of Dispels for any sort of Fog shenanigans. Vapor Snag might be able to go. I'm going to bring in Echoing Truth. I think that's about it. I'll keep my Cloud at 2, just in case I got any sort of uh, journeys and stuff like that. Yeah, they got a greedy mana base. Let's go for like this, and hopefully we can just get a nice freaking 2-0. This is usually what this deck does. It either loses or it wins flat out. None of this drawing out slow crap. I think between rounds the screen works. All right, two, two lands, two creatures. We're good. Keep, remember my little rule of thumb. I mean, I'd love this to be something else, but I can't get too crazy. All right. It's so neat playing an aggro deck that has the ability to say no to stuff. It's like... No, you're not going to do that. Boop. All right. Here we go. Come on, Karoo Land. Sure has been fun today, guys. It feels like I've been away for four months or something. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. We like that. I mean, that's not going to do anything to us. If they are on some sort of land destruction, it's just not going to do nothing. Nope. Okay. We're going to go like this. We'll rock like this. He's already got green. It's got white. I'm just going to uh, extend here. Let's bring out the flyer. I think we're going to go a little bit better with flyer here. Next turn. Might even just spell fist. Oh, it's that sort of deck. Okay, so I do want to have bounce in. Yeah, this is that one that can just annihilate you from a distance. Yeah. Good times. Okay. Counter here. I'm looking for a counter spell so I can bounce that and then counter it. Alright. Say nope. I don't think we'll be in too big a trouble with the other thing. Let's go like this. Well, echoing at the end of turn and then just hope for the best. Counter the uh Axe Bane Guardian. I think that's pretty much the only out there. Or we could counter whatever he does here if it's a surprise. That's fine. We don't mind that. It doesn't have Defender. <coughs> ah. Spreading Seas feeling a little underwhelming here. So uh, I think if we uh, Echoing now, that might be the uh, call here. He could pay two, three. No, because then he could recast it. I just got to wait. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. If we counter that, there's not much in the way. I don't think. Oh, look at that. Interesting. 
Okay. Yeah, we're going to lose spreading seas next game if we lose this one. More vapor snags. A few too many tricks here. Can I just win here, though? Um, let's see. Four, seven. I'm actually going to say yes. I just would really like to find some more bounce here. I like those hands, but uh, let's see. Blue almost helps them here. Yeah, I know they can ignite. Just probably just hold back. Cancel as opposed to drawing another card. Let's just attack for five. We probably have next turn if we can sit back on counter spell here. I've only got three cards in hand. You get cute, but it seems like they need blue more than anything, and we're just going to help them with our spreading seas. So, if I had a time machine, maybe go back and pitch the uh, or keep that. End up drawing the uh, careful study, but no, we'd still need counter spell backup. So. Oh, do we counter this? Huh. I think we do. Yeah, I know the one that uh, cycles through mana there. It's like a 1-3 and you pay 8 and it does damage through it. That's good times. Okay. Alright, this is good news. He's digging for answers in life. This feels good. That's the one, Velikid Invoker, yep. Good times. One instant. All right, we like that. Nope. Well, careful study. Well, this card, this, and Strix. I'll go like this. Let's see if I don't think Seas was a punt at all, my friend. No, I want to keep the spell open. It, all they need is blue mana. Man is not their issue, and if they're leaning on any color, it is blue, so I don't want to help them. We're able to get them to four for the uh, reason of careful study, so. All right, I am uh, countering this, just like last time. As long as that Axe Bane is tapped, I'm feeling a little less naked. Let's see what this. Oh, with buyback. Okay. Interesting target. Huh. They have counterspell. Strange. Well, Vapor Snag would win it here. So we know they've got uh, capsize in their hand. No, oh, it pumps them. It's just a one time. The other ones were that double study. I want to find uh, answers to cap size. So I'm going to careful study right now. That helps. Let's get rid of this and this. It's like the perfect draw. So I've got a counter spell and a vapor snag. So I can just kill him here. And looks like we're going to go 3-2, guys. I apologize for not going at least 4-1. This deck's really strong. I think this is probably the best target. And we've got an instant backup, unless he's uh, unless he's playing days. <laughs> and it's hacked the program. <laughs> hey, we're, don't go anywhere. We're going to go over the rest of the list here. We've got a pretty long show today. but So uh, let's see. 
we lost to Boros and Pestilence, but then we beat Pestilence, uh, Wall Control, and Demir. So we went 3-2. Like I said, this deck is really, really strong. I really like this tech. Uh, I don't think it's showcased enough today. I think it in uh, enough testing, maybe about a week. Ask me next week. I'll let you know what the number is. I think 2 ones a really good split. I really not quite sure if I... I'm actually leaning, if, if I had to put my life on the line, I honestly think I would add one careful study main and not cut anything. I would go with the 61 card list. In fact, I'm going to try it right now and just leave it at that because there's a <coughs> 16 lands a little too few, 17's a little too many, adding that one. I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like it. It's a little undisciplined, but I think I'm going to go for that. Anyway, we're going to look over here at the uh, spoiler list because I'm sure if any of you are concerned with this. We left with Stream of Thought, which I think anything with Replicate is just worth looking at. As I go back down, I think that's the last on my list of blue of honorable mentions. Now, before you go, oh my god, it looks good. You forgot blankety blank. Look, there's a lot of great cards. I mean, even this guy, Avon Windcaller, or Windcaller Avon, you cycle it. Something gets flying. That's going to be pretty awesome. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of cool stuff, but I'm just trying to go over the stuff that I think might really hit home. Crypt Rats, I really wish they would have went with the other artwork, uh, but you know me. Changeling, 1-1 one, one black, and uh, all of a sudden you've got uh, removal in slivers and stuff. I think it might become a th not a thing, but it'll be a fringe thing. Defile's pretty awesome. I think Mono Black is going to come back with a vengeance with this set. Um, just because of the sheer amount of, you know, they're reintroducing things like Crypt Rats and Diabolic Edicts and stuff for people that don't have them. If you are a fan of reading and lore and history of magic, check out the MTGO uh, site, Shiraz or Littlefight, if you can find it. I'm sorry, I should have warned you. <coughs> it's about three or four days ago, and they go over the history. There was Morphling, then there was like Dustling or something, and this is the end of the cycle. Ends in black, and it's called the Endling. I just thought it was very cool for the flavor uh, mentality there. So this is a card I really like. The... the uh, first sphere gargantua yeah don't even worry about this pitch it in your yard unearth and you've got a quarter of their life with haste and oh and just about what you draw a card and you lose one life replicates itself i think this is a fantastic black card nobody's talking about at least i don't know if anybody's talking about it um you'll remember uh woo rats and stuff like that where you're able to discard you want to be hellbent that brings us to our next awesome one actually right over here gluttonous slug i think this is a great card menace evolve i mean this got a little fight written all over it he's probably going to build something around this that just makes this into like some five three monstrosity i think it's pretty awesome very cool flavor too uh, <laughs> no amount of salt will save you <laughs> and headless specter the whole reason to play this kind of stuff and mind rake overload for two we both discard two what am i discarding well hopefully it's going to be some of these and then this guy's hitting you and we've got a hypnotic specter and popper ladies and gentlemen you're gonna have to craft around it but i think it's possible and i i just want to play with this art it's so it's so cool so uh, Brightling sucks. Okay, <laughs> well, it's outside of Popper, so I'm not going to argue. Mobs, pretty awesome. I mean, you're going to see this in play. Just flat out destroy a creature. Uh, late game at that, but, you know, good uh, teachings target. Don't think this is going to see play, but it's a gigantic ninja. Uh, let me see. I'm, I'm going off to the... Uh, I'm, I'm getting up. This is pretty... I mean, what more do you want for a 2-2? Two -two? It has Persist. That's, that's pretty cool here. I think this is a little too weak and... Uh, I don't know. If that had persist or something, maybe I'd, I'd like it. Ransack the lab. I'm a little torn on. I think this might belong in like a black land destruction deck, maybe. But it's really only replacing itself. Um, but it can really fix those those draws. This is just a uh, return on from extinction as a return on a theme of like whether it's zombies or goblins or pirates. Uh, a lot of deck cards do this, and we're hitting like a a, a crucial choke point for those to um, maybe become something here. So uh, let me see if I've got any other things written down. There was one that started with an R. <coughs> Excuse my cough. On Earth, yep, Death Touch, nice. Uh, yeah, this guy, you know, Aokis has a really cool Rakdos deck that we've won and beaten, or no, beaten and lost to on um, Propaganda many a times, and I think this sort of sack and scry stuff is pretty awesome. I'm sure he'll include one or two in his deck. As we go to red, man, this... This set's just so good. I mean, I'm, I'm scrolling past Firebolt and stuff because I disagree with a lot of people about uh, the Gambit. I think it's only good against Tron, and even then, there's always better options. Um, I know I've read the arguments for it being a hidden card and stuff and drawing you a card, but I don't know. 
thinning out your opponent's land percentages and stuff, I don't think it's worth it. Fist of Flames, pretty awesome. Don't know it. Look it up. I'm not going to waste your time here. Goat Nap. <laughs> this is the one I think wins the flavor. Um, <coughs> the steering horns ain't steering, but you get to control it. I just think it's funny. You wake up a goat from its nap, and it just starts kicking and, and rolling around and stuff like that. Goblin War Party, I'm out to lunch on this. For one more mana, you're getting the flexibility of kind of a uh, pseudo bushwhacker effect, but I just I think this is going to suffer from new card smell, and you're just going to want to play Hordling Outburst over that. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Lava Dart's one of my old favorites. Speaking of uh, the banless popper format, uh, I really like Lava Dart in um, uh, uh, Empty the Warrens builds because you can promote it, and you can also save stuff at instant speed and promote storm with sacrificing a land to stop things like echoing truth and echoing decay which against empty the warrens tokens is pretty nasty this guy i'm kind of torn on it's on its surface it's a great card i just can't think of a deck that would want to play a two and two for a uh what would that be you know kind of a miniature flame tongue kavu probably wrong there's there's some deck that's going to run it but you know if this was one and four or something like that i definitely think it would see play but um it's got a neat effect it's got to be a land in there, so kind of torn on that. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got um, this guy's interesting. I'm not sure about that. Uh, don't think sinkhole's going to see much play. Uh, pillage, we've already got. Uh, Paraphobia, nothing there. I'm, I'm running off my list here. Sorry about that. Shenanigans is just insane. Come on. Dredge 1. You just start blowing up artifacts. I really like this because... I think they made this just for Popper because we're, we allow artifact lands and you have to have Gorilla Shaman. Okay, check. Some people don't. We're not going to reprint that. Boom, shenanigans. It's pretty nasty. Gets Spire Golem, stuff like that. I think it's going to bring a lot of balance to the format there. Hate the new <laughs> artwork on Reckless Charge. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. Um, don't think that's going to be relevant. And, oh, my goodness, Vashino Sand Sprinter. Everyone hold Little Fight down. Excuse a cough is here. Ashino Sand Sprinter. Three mana. Trample. Haste. Four, one. Cycling red. Did they misprint this? Is this a rare? Come on. This is ridiculous. Uh, in a format of a lot of uh, edict style sorcery based removal, yeah, it's got a one backside, but my goodness, you hit once, you return it to your hand person you maybe they explore or the uh, uh auger of bolus and they show you they have the answer well then you cycle it and you go out you, you keep moving and uh oh yeah unearth works on this <laughs> i mean this is just ridiculous I, I really do feel like i'm gonna wake up tomorrow it's gonna be like april 1st and uh, this this set's still far away and it's just gonna have like one or two good cards and uh you know if that's not enough we haven't even spoke about green yet okay here we go Mother Bear is the first one that comes to mind here. Yes, there's other good ones, but Mother Bear is three cards for one. Tusker's awesome. I wish they'd come up with some new artwork, but I think this might be the most reprinted card uh, allowed. Or, I mean, around. Mother Bear. Two for two. We're already good. Not great. Whatever. You kill it. I trade with one of your good things. That's cool. About mid-game, I exile it. Yeah, it's got to be my turn, but I get two more creatures. This is a three for one in reverse. Such a good card. It's so hard to deal. I mean, Evan Carr's Justice, maybe, but uh, wow. I uh, it's just it's just really neat design. I, I hope my enthusiasm's coming through because I've I've badmouthed plenty of sets in the past. I'm not some wizard shill that's sitting here trying to you know tell you guys like, oh, this is great just because this is a great set. This is probably the greatest ever. Put me on record. I think it beats Zendikar by quite a few now. Um, even without any reprints. I mean, we got Nimble Mongoose here. I, that's nothing new, though. I think Savage Swipe is kind of an un, untouched gem. And it's going to be a few months, and I think somebody's going to come up with just a bear deck. We just talked about Mother Bear, where almost everything is a 2-2. Two -two. If you design around Savage Swipe, you pretty much get green removal in green with the upside benefit of you know being able to uh, pump your dude. Um, don't see it happening in Infect just because of the uh, odd, even... Uh, scenarios of the synergy with the uh, mana that you've got there, but crazy. Even here, Rhyme Tender, give me a break. You know, uh, Arbor Elf, and we've we've got the other uh, the the Sarder that does it. Now we've got the twelfth card that can do it and survive like triggery. This is nuts. <laughs> a beer deck, yes. Regrowth Camino would be great. Spore Frog shows up. Springleaf Druid. This is incredible. 
comes into play. How many times have I said I want to play a deck that is able to go gut itself of land? So Springleaf Druid comes into play, sacrifice a land. So it's like, go search a land up for two basic lands and put them on the battlefield. That's right when you play it. You don't have to sacrifice it. Unlike Yavamaya Elder, you don't have to pay two. You don't have to wait for it. just does it. And then you've got a blocker. Incredible card. One of my favorites in green. Love it. This is nice. I mean, it's flexible. I wouldn't play it, but we'll see. It would be very cool if Squirrel Nest was a common. Ah, uh, God, I, that, that's about the only way this, this set could have got any better. Um, <laughs> commercial with beer, but we've got too much alcohol commercials already. I think we've got, what have we got? Have we got a one, two, I think we have three now. What if I, oh, this card, Trumpeting Herd. Create a 3-3 three, three Elven Creature Token and then do it again. That's uh, pretty awesome. I think my ramp deck might be running this. Maybe I'll test it out and see. Regardless, it's going to have a home somewhere. I'm not sure about this. Um, very good and limited. I just don't think outside of uh, there's there's if you want this ability in the treetop ambusher, I think you go white or you 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 extend to other colors to get more of a benefit for it. But it's an interesting design space. And here we go. Weather the storm. You read it right here, folks. Storm. It says storm. Gain three life. Two mana, instant, storm. Again, storm. <laughs> We're going to be passing up Pulsa Marasa very quickly here. Even Winding Way. This is a street I used to live on called Winding Way. She's a creature of land. Reveal the top four cards and put all of them reveal this way into your land. Oh my goodness. So as far as outside of the color pie goes, I'm not excited about much except for the Astrolabe, which I actually own one Astrolabe, but this is incredible. New design uh, space here, but in snow cost. So... You got a snow-covered swamp, cool. You play it. You got a snow-covered plane, you play it. Any deck can play this if you're running snowlands. And when it comes into play, it replaces itself. Oh, that's not good enough? Well, pay one. You don't even sacrifice it. You just have a bird of paradise land for the rest of the game that replaces itself. Holy cow. What a set. <laughs> I just I just can't get over this set. Anyway, guys, we went 3-2 today. Um, I'll have the list in the comments below. And let's not forget, we went up against Boros, Pestilence, Pestilence, Demir, and some band creation. Not quite the metagame you're expecting. Everybody's kind of leaning more aggro, and so it really mops up things like Stompy and stuff like that when they show up or other Delver decks. But that being said, this time tomorrow, actually, three hours, 21 hours from now, at noon tomorrow, Pacific Standard Time, Little Fight will be going live uh, on um, Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash Little Fight, if we can bring up that link just for the same set there. And uh, we'll see you there. He's going to be doing Popper with Arena style. So come support him. Check it out. And we'll see you next week, folks, on Popraganda. Keep supporting the port format, each other, and all that other good stuff. And we'll see you next time, y'all, as we roll on out. And uh, we got a little Pictionary here from the very first one. So a few commercials after that. But we'll see you next week, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time. will stay with you for life! Dripping slabs of succulent swine, never sacrifice of flavor! <clears throat> Wait, what? Get Brindley!